actually hit. <gasps> Pet the Cody. I love Cody. Hey, um, Cool Taff says, stay cool, San Diego. You haven't been there. You haven't been to Poundland in a while, have you, Phoebe? <laughs> and that makes your reply even better. <laughs> yeah, your impudence will be your undoings. My impotence will be my undoing. What's that rogue? You want to know who's Fieldy? Fieldy's nuts on my face. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember my viewers' names. They're not important. The only person that's important on my stream is this guy. The first thing they do is, yes, yes, yes. Your horse has a name? And then I did that. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that YouTube video. This is the outro to it. This, this, and they, they've turned into the, oh my God, oh my God. Blobby, blobby, blobby! This is all changed! This is all changed! Is that from Poundland? No, she's from Scotland. <laughs> Pink retrieves their dignity from inside the cornucopia. Pink has no dignity. Pink has no dignity. Gumble! There's only one move for it. Sex pin! Sex pin! Sex pin! The sex pin did it! When you come to this screen, if you press space, it'll actually let you continue and it'll take you to the next screen. It's a nine. 69! Is that your horse, by the way? Did that actually hit? <gasps> Pet the Cody. I love Cody. Hey, um, Cool Taff says, stay cool, San Diego. You haven't been there. Uh, you haven't been to Poundland in a while, have you, Phoebe? <laughs> and that makes your reply even better. Yeah, your impudence will be your undoings. My impotence will be my undoing. What's that rogue? You want to know who's Fieldy? Fieldy's nuts on my face. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember my viewers' names. They're not important. The only person that's important on my stream is this guy. The first thing they do is, yes, yes, yes. Your horse has a name? And then I did that.
so i hope you enjoyed that youtube video this is the outro to it this this and they they've turned into the oh my god oh my god blobby 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 this is all changed this is all changed One of my lights has stopped working, and I don't know why. And I'm just trying to see if I can get it back on. Um, it was working, but it's just it's just gone on. Hi, Caden. Hi, Alk. I was about to say it's the first time in a while where we started streaming and we haven't had anyone in saying hello, so it's nice to see you guys. The hair. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. Um, we've had to put some uh, color stripper on it today. Um, basically, I've been leaking. I've been leaking. The the entire hair has been leaking. So, um, <laughs> maybe ruined like two pillows. So, we put some color stripper on it. And then we put some, uh, some lilac on it. And we've ended up with this color. Which, you know, is okay. It's not purple. But, hey, I only said I'd be purple for one stream. <laughs> so, you guys got a bonus out of it um but yeah i don't know i don't know fully what i think of it i don't really see it so i'm only seeing it now and it's a lot more pink than i expected um but that's okay uh we're gonna jump straight into raft why not i don't have much to talk about i was um i will admit i was listening to um some music to get me pumped up for the stream um anyone want to take a guess at what music i was listening to Nope, because I'm not going to give you a chance to. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was listening to Limp Bizkit's My Way. Um, I'm thinking about doing some song parodies <laughs> to, like, advertise the stream. So we might see about that. I was, I was thinking, um, you know, uh, the song Jungle Boogie. Uh, I was thinking, can I get a karaoke, karaoke version, uh, Jungle Boogie? Yeah, ju Jungle Boogie, right, okay. It's gonna be like this. Get down, get down. Now see, I don't want them saying get down, get down. I want to be the the entire yeah there you go tough man 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 Then go like this, and then it go. Big tough streaming. Big tough streaming. Big tough streaming. Big tough streaming. Get it on. Just like that. That's my idea. I'm like, I'm going to do like song parodies on just for Twitter. They won't be like for the stream, but they'll just be for Twitter. And it'll be just to advertise the stream. Just because, uh, I think, I think it'll be fun tweets. I'm clicking karaoke versions of songs now. Can anyone guess what song this is? I'm going to I'm going to start singing now and see if you know. Hey, Blake Town. Right, we're going to I'm going to start join in. 
One hop this time. Right foot, let's stomp. Left foot, let's stomp. Cha-cha real smooth. <laughs> Turn it out. Right, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'll get distracted. If Phoebe was here, this is the exact thing that we would do that would get us distracted for ages. But Phoebe's not here, so we don't have to do that. Right, where we left last time? We'd, um, we discovered about this fishing stuff that was new. So we were trying to do some fishing that was getting us some tokens. Tafioki, I love a bit of tafioki. I miss being able to just do, um, just do songs all the time. I only caught salmon that time. I thought we were catching special fish with this bait. Come on, come on, come on. Have I not got the bait on? Maybe I don't have the bait on. Come on, come on. I didn't have the bait on. That's okay though, because we caught a couple of fish there. We can cook up some fish because we're about to get hungry again. The rock jump dropping birds. Uh, the strategy is stay away from them. Oh, fuck, that's a big boy. Uh, you want to use bow and arrows and continually run from them. You want to be running all the time. Um, if you're running, ideally, most islands as well will have like a sticky out rock like that up on the top part, which you can hide under. But... As long as you keep continually moving, you should be all right. We're going to wait for the salmon to cook. Is there is there one on this, actually? I don't think there is. I think... She was... Oh, we need fresh water for this. We need that salmon to be cooked. We'll we'll try and take on. Um, she's usually pretty good. If you can, I would say get up high and shoot her from high is best because generally she'll go lower to pick up stuff. I think what we will do is we will make a bow and arrow if we can. We're probably going to struggle. Right, there you go. Look at this health back. Right, I'm thinking we go out and grab all of that stuff. Has Phoebe actually chosen this moment to... Okay, we're kind of lucky there that um, we had a bit sustaining. Very lucky there. Um, I think what we're going to do here... What is it to make a shark bait? Because I could do with him being distracted for a little bit. Shark bait is two rope and two fish. Right, let's let's catch these fancy fish. Got a net nibbler. We could just go over to the island for this. Yeah, this might be easier to go over to the island. Um, let's take those.
pop these in. What else have we got? I think we need some more vine goose, so we'll pop one of those in. So we're going to go back over to the island for now. And then on the way there, I'm also going to look at what's down here. Got some... Got a fair bit of health here, so we can take a hit or two. Surprised she hasn't gone for us yet. Where is she? We do have a puffer fish down there as well. I um I prefer having a bow and arrow when I go for the puffer fish. They're a lot easier to get with the bow and arrow. But I think what we will do is go on to the island and see if we can um see if we can get the kill the boar and the um and the bird if the bird is there as well. It is actually worth now us taking everything. I'm a bit worried about where the shark is. Because the fact that he's not down here makes me think that he's biting our boat. He's over there. Why is he over there? Right, so we're gonna we're gonna catch some fish. Should try having a less tasty boat. How you doing today, my biscuits? Um, I'm I'm just a bit confused. I think um we've messed up and we've we're gonna have lost all the um all the stuff that we were the growing on there. But we should be okay. I enjoyed, I enjoyed seeing the beans today. Ralph's had a good day today. I I don't know if people saw, but I posted a picture of the new... Um, did I make the special island in the end? I didn't. Um, I, I sent Pink a clip of the, the moment where I said that I wasn't going to do it. To, to try and to try and keep uh, pink in the good books and she and she bought it so we got away with it but yeah I posted a picture of Jack with the um the new Ralph mug now I did notice <laughs> the art for the new Ralph mug the mug is a bit poor so I might make a little, little adjustment to it for me it's not too bad but like it's enough that I notice that it's there's just a little bit that's off. But I was like, that's gonna bother me. And you know, this is my this is my merch. And it's something that I didn't really notice before. How many of these have we still got? That was it. I tweeted as well today about um, about getting some people to play uh, to play some uh, Sea of Thieves. If anyone is interested in playing Sea of Thieves, I'd love to. I'd love to get a bunch of streamers playing it. Um, you don't have to be streamers. If there's some people who want to play it as well, just let me know. I just think sometimes it's fun with a game to have a bunch of people playing it who um are streaming because then you get to see different people's points of view right what are we thinking here we need a bow and arrow first i need vine goo i'm gonna have to go back to the boat yeah and plus it's it's nice to it's nice to see like um different aspects and like i will say there's um 
this particular streamers that I watch who I'm like, oh, it would be really cool to, to stream with them. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm up for streaming with anyone. I'm not out here, like, going, oh, I will only collaborate with people who have, you know, 20 viewers or 200 viewers or anything like that. No, I'm just happy to, like, play games with people. Uh, right, let's take those. And then we're going to put those. Have we got some in the, the thing? Right, let's put those in there. Let's also... Let's... Uh, my only issue with Sea of Thieves, uh, I know people associated with the game who I don't particularly like. And um, for reasons completely unrelated to Sea of Thieves. So it's like, it's not that I don't want to play Sea of Thieves because of, um, of that. Oh, you're going to play The Forest? I really enjoyed The Forest. We're gonna we're gonna go back now. If I remember rightly, we need like two scrap for something. Hey, hello. There you go. There's there's somebody who uh, replied to the Sea of Thieves tweet. I was just talking about Sea of Thieves. I think it would be a fun game. Um, I've played it a little bit. Um, is obviously something I played a bit more. And like I say, like I have. Uh, I stopped playing it just because I knew some people who worked on the game who I didn't particularly want to be involved with anymore. And so I kind of avoided the game for that reason. But it's been long enough that I think I can play the game without having to think about them. If you don't mind showing me the way? I'd be well up for showing you the way. Like, I'm not an expert in it, but I think it's a very fun game to play with, like, um, a bunch of people as well. I know Ruby, who... I played a fair bit of, of Sea of Thieves with Ruby, and Ruby said she would be up for it. Uh, me and Ruby used to call ourselves, well, we still call ourselves, the rats. And um, we just, I, one time um, we got attacked while we were messing around, and our ship completely sunk, and we didn't even realize <laughs> until it was like halfway down. And I think it's in my it's in the video that plays at the start of my streams. Um Oh no, it's in the it's in the channel trailer video. Um Let me see if I can find There's a there's a clip in <laughs> I've just realized these are all like <laughs> oh oh don't drown oh i'm thirsty Uh, let me show this. It's actually on my my personal YouTube. It's uh, it's this video, Cody tribute to Taff. But I think we there's a start the clip now, right? This plays whenever you go onto my channel. But there's there's a bit. I think it's here. Did you see the juke though? The juke. I just fell off the boat. I <laughs> just, 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 just falling off the boat. Oh, hi, Phoebe. How are you doing? I think this is... Booby, this... <laughs> oh, shit, Booby, this ship's about to go down! Water, water! Booby, water, water! Booby! All our stuff! Booby! At least we had fun. At least we had fun. 
the, the famous last words of Ruby as we went down with the ship. Oh god, I've messed up this. But yeah, I love to I love to stream games with other people. It's one of my favorite things to do. I think it's fun because like you get to not like have the stress so much of talking to yourself all the time. Like, this is a really fun game, actually. I did think the other day, what I should do is... May, and maybe we'll do this after I play this. Is play Raft again. And do um, do a ship where it's like, if anyone wants to join, anyone at all, they're welcome to join the Raft. I thought that would be... Bastard. Ooh. And speaking. Thank you for the raid. Speaking of the the raid. Ruby. There it is, Ruby. Ruby, we just I just showed the video of um of us going down on the ship. Hey, Teo! Oh, I was a clown! What about this guy? Now Loopy, Loopy, you of all people know that I am. Not a tiny rat. Loving the hair. It's very pink, isn't it? But hello, new people. Um, I'm Taff. I'm a streamer. You showed the video of us going down. You said that was between us and Cody. Hey, keep it clean. Keep it clean in my channel. This is not Ruby Jean's channel. <laughs> but Ruby, I was just talking about... Um, Lau replied to my tweet. Um, Lau was in chat less than Lau um, and said that um, they'd be up for playing um, a bit of Raft a bit of Rust a bit of not, not Raft or Rust Ooh, a new follower. I can't Question get my words you. right if there was Olympics for everyday activities which activity would you earn the gold medal in? Ooh. Sea of Thieves right I'm having to, like, steal the arrows from his back. Did I just... Okay, we've got a problem here. We've got a problem here! We had a problem there. Of course that, of course that's the moment Moose walks in. Of course that's the moment Moose walks in. We will get vengeance on the boar. But I need rope. I've got no rope. Do I think anything out there will have rope? Oh, I did accidentally put something in the wrong crate. We're saved. Right, we need the axe. Right, we should be okay here. Oh, I probably shouldn't have... We're probably going to get monched here. Okay, we could get monched again. Okay, I'm going to swim backwards. Because we really don't want to get... I 
Okay, that all went wrong. That all went wrong. So what we're going to do is not a problem. We're going to ignore any of this happened. And we're going to... Yeah, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. There's pointless way in here. Fuck. Oh, shit. We've got loads of... We've got loads of wood. But no bolts, though. And no rope. Rope is the problem. Oh, we do have an axe. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I... Maybe I will go back. Okay, maybe I will go back. We were going to skip off, but we're going to go back. The reason being... Oh my god, are we going to make this? Did we lose trade coins? I put them in the in the thing, right? We didn't lose trade coins. So look, we're going to get stuff back. It's worth coming back to this island just to chop these trees down. How was uh how was Ruby stream everyone? Did uh, I don't think I've got any moves, mods in. Did uh, did anyone shout out Ruby? No one did. I should have got Ruby to shout out herself. But that would involve Ruby doing some mod work and, and uh, she doesn't like that. She only likes being a mod for the for the look. She likes feeling superior to other people in chat. Why did you clip that, Boothie? Why did you clip that? Why can't you clip the good moments? There's a lot of good moments that happen in this stream. There's a lot of like top, top good moments. People going, oh, this, this is a good moment. And yeah, you clip that when I fail. You know what I think it is? The good moments, they come along too much. You're like, these are, these are all good moments. If we clipped all the good moments, we'd be clipping the entire stream. So what we have to do is we have to instead... Clip when Taff looks an idiot. Was there a watermelon there? Which is so rare. Ruby's a supervisor at work who just delegates to the slackers and slacks. Exactly. Right, we can't make uh, a thing because we haven't got any plastic. We've lost all our tools. I think we've died twice. I don't think we can hit these with an axe. Have an entire VOD channel dedicated to good moments. That's a good point. The VOD channel. Uh, why not check out the, um, the YouTube page? You can check out entire videos of good things happening. Wait, we haven't got... We haven't got an arrow anymore. Can I make a bow? No. I could potentially stab him. We could try stabbing him. I thought we were dead then. Did my thing break? Is there no uh, bird? Is it just a boar, this one?
I think, I think just... It's worth getting these flowers, just because later, if I want to make the boat look pretty, you might have killed it at previous visit. That's what I thought. There's always a bird, but I haven't killed a bird yet. That's why I'm confused. There should always be a bird and a boar, but there's no, uh, there doesn't seem to be a bird, unless it's glitched somewhere. Oh, this. There's two boars? Maybe that's something they've changed. Now. Yeah, but I don't have a I don't have a stabby knife yet. I'm so gonna... sorry, Ta. I'm so sorry. Got a dab. There you go, plague. I've been thinking about adding a reward, plague. What What do you think about this? A reward where I dab, but I'll do like a a like fancier dab for you, but it'll be like an expensive one. It'll be like you have to pay a lot more. Feels like I've not been here for a while. It feel, feels like you're always here, Plague. Just missing every stream. Well, look. You're here now, and that's all that matters. Hey, Shunts. Little Monch there. Little Monch, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to make it back, though. Just check. Catch me from bankrupt on the posh tab. Imagine. Fuck, I haven't got a I've had no update on the emotes. I was a bit disappointed. Um, but I did tell her, to be fair, I said no rush on them. Because I'd always rather, like, especially when you're dealing with an artist, you want them to, you want them to take their time. Oh, 63%, 14%. Alk, that's the, that's the worst I've ever seen you end up. Ever since Pulsey killed me in, in games. Did Pulsey kill you? Right. Wooden spear. Craft. Our axe is running out. We can't make any arrows because we haven't got... A metal spear? Pop our wooden spear back. we got a metal spear here. And I think, actually, we need to research... Um, leather. See, we need a feather. We need wool. We need, we need to research a battery. We do actually have a battery. Feather. What's that? Clay. Have we not researched clay? Okay, so we do need to kill. Imagine bringing Hunger Games drama to the Korean barbecue. I can imagine that. Because the, the Hunger Games is a very serious topic. Right. What are we looking at here? I'm going to go back to the island and kill that fella. I think we might want to... This is entire dysentery of full nut tree. Imagine dying out of dysentery or falling out of a tree. Right, we need another bolt. Then we can make a scrap hook. So we're doing good here. Oh, 
We now don't have a metal ingot. But that's okay. We can come back and get that. 57%. That's not bad. Right. We're going back to the island. We're not. We're going to... Oh, shit. We haven't got a water bottle anymore. Devastated. Come on then, Phoebe. Where are you? Where are you, Phoebe? Where are you? Where are you? Where is she? Seriously, where's Phoebe? Is Phoebe attacking the boat? Where's that other fella? Right, so this is going to break in a sec. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> you miss crackers? She probably is eating miss crackers, to be fair. We actually almost have the stuff to make another axe. If I bought some more wood with me, we could have made one. Right, where's the other boar? Gotta be around here, right? There he is. So Alk is saying tempt him into the water. God. So I think now. Come on, come on. got me you've got a hit on me we got him we got him time for a drinky booze hydrate uh thank you i'm i'm still drinking the the tea of the day the tea of the day there was the tea of the day the other day time um, to brew Kanimvi, as well, um, congratulations to you and Beth on your fabulous, um, your fabulous, uh, charity fundraising stream the other day. I believe you raised almost three grand, was it? Was it over three grand? Not a problem. Always happy to support. I'd love to say that it's good to support because I can write it off in tax, but I can't because last time I donated loads of money to charity, I had to pay more tax. <laughs> I actually have my accountant say, hey, Taff, you have to pay more tax. Thank you for entering the Hunger Games, Dazuk. Uh, you weren't in the last one. I was gutted to not see your name on the last Hunger Games. I hate taxes. It was basically because uh, all the donations I'd made were with gift aid added. Um, but because we didn't we didn't earn properly last year, so um, we technically didn't earn enough that the charities would be allowed to claim the gift aid. So we had to pay the gift aid back. Um, and we'd actually donated quite a bit of money to charity that year. Um, 
so yeah <laughs> it was the year that the tories won the election so we were in very much a any good causes we're going to uh we're going to be donating what we can to them so yeah um that was fun that was fun I but, but i mean i didn't complain because at the end of the day we wanted to make those donations to charity um and now i know unfortunately when i donate i can't i can't do gift aid life has been really hacked oh no dazzle dazzle don't uh, don't in any way think that i'm trying to make you feel guilty that you haven't been here i just meant that like you're a regular in the hunger games because it's always something that you randomly um that you randomly redeem when i'm not talking about it and i was like oh dazzle hasn't redeemed it this month you like my hair you've noticed it uh, well this was from our last big charity stream the um we let chat choose the color we did end up going purple um but i've had to put some color stripper on it because we were basically uh leaking purple everywhere <laughs> so i had to put some stripper on it it stripped out the color a little bit we have put some more of a different shade of purple on it but it's gone a bit more pinky i'm still not 100 percent what i think about it because there's part of me that goes like I kind of liked it when it was like the quite purple. Contemplating getting another piercing right now. Yeah, I get it. That's the that's the M in you, Shay. <laughs> uh, I don't feel bad for missing. You just have a lot of fun. I appreciate that you have a lot of fun. It's always nice when people say they have fun. What does Jack think of it? So Jack actually, um, Jack. Monday is normally my day where I get a lot of jobs done. Uh, I didn't get any jobs done today because as I was preparing to edit some videos and sort some stuff out, Jack got sent home from nursery. And he's got hand, foot and mouth. <laughs> hand, foot and mouth disease. Which is nice because like I obviously knew it from the... the It was the big thing that the a few years back all the cows had it and all a lot of you know the cows had to to be put down because it was really bad so when we heard of it we were like oh shit but apparently it's something that's very common in younger kids um it's not too bad it just means he's got a lot of like little blisters and some ulcers inside his mouth which is not nice for him obviously it's weird for him to deal with um but he got sent home from nursery because it's quite contagious he's probably picked it up at nursery but they they try and like keep it uh, you know as contained as they possibly can so hopefully he won't be too bad but it did mean that i didn't get to do any of the jobs that i would have liked to have done how many piercings do you have now shay With dangling earrings. I think you would look sick with dangling earrings. I do always say, and I think I I mean this in the, the most respectful way that I can. I I I hope no one takes any offense in it. But sometimes I wish I'd been born like not in the the little village that I was born in. Uh because I think I think there were so many closed-minded people and like like i say like i right now i consider myself you know 100 percent straight but like there's always part of me that thinks if i hadn't have um you know maybe grown up in the the small village that i was in would i have been more open to you know experimenting with stuff when i was younger and uh you know trying some things that that maybe I wouldn't have necessarily tried as much when I got older. Oh shit, Phoebe's right above us. Oh, this is actually quite bad. But I think with stuff like, even stuff like, you know, dye in my hair or... Oh, this is actually quite bad. Oh, 
Oh, this is really bad. Where did she go? Oh god, I'm so relieved that we make this. I'm glad I've been as open as I can and doing what I'm doing now due to my youth and position of life. Yeah, it's like... I don't mean it in a bad way in any way, and like I don't mean it to sound like, you know, that it's a negative towards. Where is he? Oh, <gasps> gonna kill, kill the shark again. But yeah, I, f I feel sometimes like, you know, would I have experimented with, with things in a more of a way? And like, I don't mean this to sound like, I worry that like, it sounds like, you know, fucking the ally trying to sound hip and cool <laughs> but, but yeah i do i do think like it's a pity that i didn't feel that i could maybe do those things yeah i'm glad it i'm glad you understand what i mean right let's uh let's set off I think what we're going to do is if I look at the streamer. I was wondering if I would have realized I was dude that I'd grown up someone open mind. Yeah. And I think that's that's one of the things that we've we've said that we're lucky now that we can try and instill some of these things into Jack in that, you know, being a bit more open to these kind of things and not in a not in a way not in any kind of a sorry i'm getting distracted because i'm trying to do this while also doing this uh not not in any kind of negative way but just in a way that's like you know maybe if i thought more about this Oh, we only found one metal bolt. That was what we were looking for. Have him grow up with the idea that those things are normal. Yeah, and be a bit more like it's not it's not a big deal. You know, because I always say like I'm, uh, you know, like I remember walking down the street with one of my cousins one time and then being like, oh, mum, why is that man? why is that man's skin black is he dirty and it wasn't like that she meant it in a in a racist way at all it was because she'd never seen someone with the dark skin I'm gonna just take that up so we float a bit more naturally for a little bit although actually there's a small island over there let's try and go over there was grateful about how open my mother was me. Yeah, I think I think like it's one of those things that like my my mum's always been great with stuff like that as well. And I think, you know, if I had been any other way she would have um supported me. Um but you know, also it's a case of I know <laughs> I know I said to my mum once, we went out uh to the gay village in in Manchester and um she got a bit like worried about it and i was like what are you worried about and she was like oh you know um like you know what if i go in the toilets and the women fancy me and i was like mum but like you go to like straight clubs and you don't think that everyone fancies you in there and she was like but i do <laughs> and i was like fucking typical but, you know i think it's that thing of like being being from you know, as such a small town. Like I always talk about the fact that everyone knew everyone. Everyone fancies Tafsman. Probably. But, you know, I do sit here and I think, like, if I'd had pink hair at school, I would have definitely been made fun of for it. I think that's where part of the, like, the thing with me now, like, worrying about it, 
comes from. Because, like, in a daft way, like I said, like, the other day when I went out for a... to just pick up something from the shop and I had the purple hair and someone shouted, oh, nice hair, mate, at me as I walked past. And it's like, I wasn't sure whether they were shouting that in, like, a negative way or if they were shouting that in a in a way that they actually thought my hair was nice. Hey, Tove. Except for my son, I didn't fully explore myself to the pandemic. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, you know, I know Shay's a bit more from Cardiff way. And so, you know, a bit of a busier, busier town than the one uh, than the place that I grew up. And even then, like, you know, like Chase, Chase says, like, it, was, it took the pandemic for him to be a bit more open with stuff. Right, do I go to that little island? I don't know what I'm trying to do right now. We need to eat. Um, Let's just cook up some... And then let's put three of those in there. Three of those in there. And then I think we have a little cup. Have a little drink. And then we're going to take that back. And then have we got the stuff to make this? We do. So pop that cup back in there. We're actually collecting quite a lot of stuff here. I do probably want to go to that island, though. Did we have any potatoes cooked in there? We'll probably skip that. Implying melons in my... It annoys me how you don't always get a seed. Yes, that is very annoying. Uh, where we go? We're, we're not going to bother with the computer at the moment. Um, I think I'm just going to let myself float for a little bit. I'm going to replace some of these ones that were broken. And then we're going to see if we can actually make any collector's nets. Which one was 40 health then? We also want to get that one in don't we it's really annoying now you don't always get melon seeds from a melon because you think of all the things that you could possibly grow a melon seed melon is the one that is most obvious that you would get a melon seed from right. bow we've got again need more plastic Right, so she's starting to go off a bit quicker. It's like melons are the one thing that you pretty much are guaranteed that if you ate a melon, you get a seed for a melon from it. Like, how do you not get see seeds for a melon from a melon? <laughs> we really need to try and get some uh, arrows, though, because we want to... We really want to start making some some uh, bow not bows arrows so that we can um, catch the catch the uh, 
seagulls. Right, how we doing? How we doing? Right, we've got 18 arrows now, so that's pretty good. So now I can start thinking again about some collection nets. Two more collection nets. So we, we can think about widening our raft a little bit now. We're still we're still basically oh god. So hoping to get the double there. Lot lot of things going out that way wide. I was taking no risks with those. Right, let's... Uh, how are we doing? A nine. Any, uh, any islands coming up? What is that, Taff? I don't see any islands at all. We could head towards the next story island. We probably should be going out that way. Probably going the complete wrong direction here. Seagulls are not coming for these for some reason. We're hungry again. Probably should be thinking in advance with this. just going to fill all these up and now we can go down to the uh to the food i hate this rumbly uh rumbly tummy noise come on Always better that we don't let that break. Eat the beats. Probably want to lay off too much going out right now. But then... Yes! Bit of chicken. Bit of raw drumstick. Uh, we need to get feather on here. 
Oh, Matt Lattos. We got him. We got him. Right, so let's put the clay into there, stone. Oh, there's an island that way. Let's go to that. Let's go to that little island. Um, probably shouldn't extend until I know which items I need. We need, uh, let's go to this. Look at the chicken. Uh, we need an axe again. Right, so we've got an axe. We need a shovel again. So we've got no metal for that. We need a fishing rod again. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a hook coming up soon. So yeah, we do need to make sure get down in the water and the first thing we wanna be looking for is some metal. Do we still have our flippers? We don't. Should we make some flippers again? We don't have enough fine crew? Okay, let's get some vine goo cooking. And this should be a nice little island. I feel a little bit bad about playing Raft because this was mine and uh, this was mine and Pink's game. But uh, also, I really wanted to play it, and with Pink being so busy. It felt like it's got to the point where, like, it was okay to play it. It did feel very, very awkward to have had that happen, though. Because <laughs> I would always rather play, um, play pink with play pink. I'd always rather play pink. Oh, so I can't put that into there. So what we're looking for here is where the underwater part is. So I think we're okay here. Need one more piece of vine goo. Probably need to make one more of these storage containers. We're getting to the point where... Did you keep scores on who saves who? Pink generally saved me more than I saved Pink. Generally, Pink saved me more. There were a couple of streams where, really, like, early on in the game, Pink died a bit more. But then, usually over the course, it would correct itself, and I would I would be the one who ended up dying most. So we're going to put the flippers on. And we're going to... Anything that we can leave, we can. We're gonna leave. I'm gonna put another suitcase down there, and then what do we need to make a? We can make a crappy plastic hook if we need to, and I'm carrying the stuff for that, so we're all good. So hopefully that um, we should swim faster. Fast enough that, that we don't get 
got by Phoebe enough. I think we will walk a little bit slower on land, so we'll just take it off a sec. But we really need to get some metal here. And I think what we'll do is we'll start going straight towards the next story island. I just kind of want to get... The thing is, when I play this, I'm not worried so much about the story. I'm more about getting my uh, island looking good. Right, we're going to leave those. I'm going to put these back on. That can go in there. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go underwater. We really want to get the metal. I don't know why I'm messing around with this stuff. This stuff is more for the recycling. Story is not as important as having a really cool raft. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why it was fun to play um to play when me and me and Pink were making the the turtle raft cuz like I literally planned our raft out in Excel. I was like we can do this Pink. And it was a good way to like experiment with the colors and stuff and uh, painting which was something that we hadn't done a lot of. I think that's what a lot of these like I think I think pretty much like with these raft streams I guarantee you'll get at least one at least one story element but it could potentially be the very thing, last thing we do on the stream which is what it was last the first stream I do love this game though. The, the the dream for like this would be to say like play this with like the wives or something and get like a proper like a gang gang raft like maybe get the wives um Phil, Phoebe, Pink, Cody, Ruby and like all that regular gang just all on one raft. It would be like even if it was a case of like um it being a game where you know we do it we do it for maybe the first session and then from then on it's like if someone can't make it we'll still play but like i always said if you want to play raft if anyone out there wants to play raft and needs someone to to come along and be on the raft. Let me know. I'm going to drop those. We parked far enough away here that we've got free rain on this. The fact that there's a bit of metal is a real bonus. Wait, why is that saying two metal? Oh god, did we not pick up the metal earlier? Oh. Well, that is a good job that I looked at that. Very nearly a tragedy. I know. This is the thing with, with Raft sometimes is that you can make a very dumb decision and then suddenly realize. Oh, 
Oh, there's more metal there. I like that panic mode. We're going to eat these two coke mats because it frees up a spot for me to be. Oh, there's more metal. Well, this island has been kind to us. So all I can think is that when we go back to the boat now, the the raft is going to have been completely gone. Oh, we got some stuff floating up here. Some glass and some rope. We could actually convert a lot of this stuff to rope. I think we throw away. Uh no, if you if you're far enough away, you don't get munched. Uh, what do we get rid of here? I think we actually might need to get rid of that. Vangu. So if you're far enough away, you won't get munched at all. Eat the pineapples. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I might go back to the boat and come back. Because they actually does look like... Oh, look at all that. And that. There's actually so much stuff here. This is worth going and coming back. screwed me then did you know it say um it didn't quite put me right <laughs> right i think we take everything back with us i'm gonna continue to put stones in there and we're gonna pop oh, three of those and three of those pop three of those onto there i'm gonna wait for these to cook a sec This is there. I think we're going to let this food cook and then take this food back with us. My, It felt like my leg was vibrating as if I was getting a text then. I really don't want to take this stuff back and die though, so. Don't think I need that. So we're potentially going to get. Oh, do you know what I've. I fucked up. So I've slightly fucked up here. Because I have put my um my plastic and my um 
my plastic and my uh, wood in the chest. And that means I am not going to be able to... Uh, I'm not going to be able to make a new um, thing if I need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we get the most important things. Which there's some metal around there. There was something on this side that we were going to get that I've forgotten about. Just going to get the scrap for now. We might get the sand because that could be important as well. We're not going to bother getting rock this time. So the thing is with the sand and the clay is that we can make another furnace. So that's why I'm leaning towards getting those. Okay, so see there's some there's some there's some metal here. Potentially though, we are gonna be playing Raft with Pink on Sunday. Potentially. Um I got a message from Pink earlier. I think this is the other plus to to me streaming this. Is that it's drawing pink back in, making making pink want to play. You've got to you've got to charm pink back in. She's not like Phoebe. Phoebe, you can get like you you want to stream with Phoebe, easy. Pink now, pink makes you do the work. Guaranteed draft on a Sunday. It's the daytime though, Plague. It's always a harder one for you to be there for. Right, there you go. There's our there's our stuff. But yeah, this um this tea ended up um brewing for like four days. So potentially there's a lot of scrap there that we could go back and try and get, but I don't want to. Yeah, take that, Phoebe. Last day stream started at 4 a.m. Exactly. We we're, we're secretly trying to get rid of you, Plague. That's what it is. Realize it's the only way I can do it. Right. We're starting to really, really be good here. So. We want to get ourselves back on the track. Any more collection nets? None more. Right. Um, got some stuff in there. We're going to end up with a load of metal here. So this, this has been 
as good as it gets. Oh, oh, no, no. So it looks like we're hitting, we're hitting the trash pretty perfectly here. Maybe want to go a little bit more that way. And uh, we're going to be trying to extend out as well. Why are the seagulls making so much noise? Oh, it's the flying V. Wait, we probably want to get... These back in. So we probably want at some point want to start moving everything around and getting stuff a bit more organized. all that plastic in fact that's worth it's worth jumping in the water for lovely bit of jumping in the water work there I'm trying to have a look at that island and see do i think that's worth heading towards You know what? I don't think it is. I think at the moment we're in a position where we've got a lot of stuff. We need to maybe float for a little bit here. I'm going to keep trying to just build out a sec. It's all looking good, though. Let's put some of these on. Those are cooking. Probably need to stop shooting in with arrows. This is looking like a lovely bit of sea right now. Absolutely cracking bit of sea to be floating down. What are we doing? Hungry? Look at this look at this trick shot trick shot see loot i meant to get a loot 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 emote then what's up guys it's time to do a ride <laughs> rap about sea loot The other night I was watching a film starring Colin Farrell and all I could think about was pulling in a barrel because when I'm on the sea I love to loot 
Do I prefer games where I can shoot? Only if I can then loot the victim. I don't know what rhymes with victim. Maybe stricten? But is that a word? No, it's not, you idiot. Right, rhymes with idiot. I don't know, idiot. Is that a word? You're making things up. Maybe this rap is kind of fucked up because you just wrapped the word up with up again. Maybe Plague is gonna now say he's not your friend. Oh no, Plague, why are you gonna say that today? Is it okay, 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 okay? I just wanna be your friend, Plague Pillow. I don't know if I can be your hero, but all I know, Plague, is that I like you, and I hope that someday you can like me too. And we could walk together hand in hand in the sand, and maybe then we'll walk on the sea and the land. Cause all I really wanna do is loot with you, do you maybe wanna loot with me too? Cause Plague we could loot, and we'll share the loot together, and we can loot friends forever and ever. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant rap. I don't know if what that was rap? brilliant. Come on chat, give him some U rocks. Give him some U rocks chat, come on. Just a couple of U rocks. Just a, just a couple of cheeky U rocks. Look how wide this is now. I think this is looking good though. This is what we wanted. We wanted like um, a chance to like bring it out a little bit. What are you thinking of, Phoebe? We're kind of like going. We've got a nice V. Oh, what's that? A big island. Have we been to that one? Thank you for the U rocks though. It's very much appreciated. got some potatoes in there We've got some beets in there this is all good this is all good we're gonna take those i'm gonna put those in the recycler and that took me so long i got confused thank you pook pook Thank you, I appreciate it. We uh we did it for a charity stream that we did. We did a charity stream where I promised that um chat could choose the hair colour and chat chose this colour. Well they chose purple, but it's ended up as a pink as the as the stuff has slowly come out of it. Got one more collection there. We will pop down there. And then we are going to put those into there. It's like a dusky pink, yeah. Yeah, um <laughs> it's kind of a dusky pink. Uh basically I was leaking everywhere. So my wife was like, we need to put some uh stuff that'll take some of the colour out. So yeah, um, it it wasn't wasn't meant to be a dusky pink, <laughs> but it's, it's all right. I think it looks good. That almost looks like oh, we have a we have a a birdie boy. So Alka, I can try and show you how to take out the birdie boy.
Right, what have we got? We need some feathers. The feathers are in this. Oh no, that's okay. The the charity stream was a while ago. It was just I, I didn't have a chance to make it um happen because uh it was a combo of me um Wait, are we going to the right way? We are still. It was a combo of uh, things like it was my grandmother's funeral and I didn't really want to dye my hair for that. Put these in here. We do need a shovel. Wait, where's the island gone? Wait. We were, we were heading right towards it. Oh, our antenna broke, didn't it? Oh, we're still there. I forgot we had to make another antenna. Oh no, it's okay. It was it was a couple of months back now. Unfortunately, um, she was suffering with dementia, um, which is a horrible, horrible thing. But, um, you know, we, we did some good out of it. We raised some money for charity off it. Um, so, you know, it's out of, uh, out of bad t things come good things sometimes. So hopefully, hopefully some of the money we raise will go towards making someone else who's suffering with dementia their life a little bit easier. We're doing really well here, though, on this game. To completely change the subject. This does look like a very big island. We might have fucked up here and, and need like plastic for stuff. Let's make a shovel. What else do we need? Nothing else at the moment. Ooh. Yeah, we need to need to get it a bit more in order but we're going all right here shark burgers right let's get three potatoes in three of these get nice and close now Do you feel like the woman on the radio tower was? I looked it up after the stream. Apparently, it is that you unlock a... Um, it's like unlocking an extra character. So she's now an extra... If we wanted to change the way our character looked, you can actually play as her now. Coming in very slowly on this. I think because we're going against the the tide, this has taken us a long time to get into. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to this island. We're going to try and kill the bird. And then we're going to go to the next story island because we do need to start thinking about like the, the next part of the story because you also unlock extra stuff. So you can see with when we look in the containers, when we look at the research table, 
we have the um the next thing we start to do is this stuff and this stuff and this stuff which we all can't do until we get a bit more stuff we could actually swim from here but it's going to take us quite a bit how much planks do we have I don't have a massive amount of planks. We seem to be going very, very slow right now, though. I don't know if it's worth um fucking pink commented on that video already look i don't know if it's worth not making a paddle but just plunking the anchor down now and swimming from here the the trouble is there's a lot of um a lot of risk in the, the stuff Just doesn't seem to be getting any closer. We should probably try and do some fishing if we can. Paddle can sometimes help give that extra push. I haven't got any plastic though. That's the that's the problem. I've just used up all my plastic making uh Oh, we were going to have a look at the juicer, weren't we? And the thing is, we're not in any kind of... Uh... Oh, shit. Wait. Why does the island keep disappearing? It actually feels like we're getting further away. I can't see the bird anymore. I think what we might do at this point... Oh no, we can kind of see the island there. Like, you can see a rock that's out the front. But what I'm really worried about is if I start to swim towards it, and then we forget where the, the raft is. Right. We're going to scrap this. I think this is just taking too long. So we're going to spin around. It's just taking too long. I think we should definitely try and make ourselves a more homely raft. So that'll be one of the things that we start to look at next. We also want to start armoring up. So armoring up the outside of the raft is like such an advantage because it starts to make it so that the the thing can't the shark can't bite it. Now I actually think it might even be worth starting to think about that now. So what is it? One metal in got and two nails. Now we do have 12 metal ingots, so we could, we could shear up an entire side. Oh, we're starting to, yeah, we're hitting the thing again. We do need to make, though, um, another antennae, so let's think about that first. Need a circuit board first. 
to be five plastic. I actually think it's worth me just swimming out to these a sec. We're going to get a little munch like that. But I think it's just worth it right now. Okay, there's a little island over there. I think what we do is we go to that little island. Oh, this was a mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. We were all good. We're going to go to that little island. Fuck me. 15% health. Uh, what were we going to make? A circuit board. And then we were going to make an antennae. So then we want to we want to big up the top floor. Kind of want to go and get that plastic, but that's fine. That's good. Definitely getting that bit of plastic. I think our boat is going towards this anyway. I kind of want to just jump in and stab her. I think we're actually going to pop the... We just managed to jump over it then. Uh, right, the antennae. We need to put the antennae down. Is that good? It is good. We want to harvest these before we go. So I'm going to pop three of those in. Have a nice drink. Fill that up again. Pour out the rest. Pour out the rest. Harvest these. And then we can pop those in there. And hopefully this island has got a little bit of stuff. We don't need a drastic amount from this. If it's got a load of metal, that would be ideal. The more the metal there. Like the merrier, but metal -er. The more the metal -er. Oh 
Oh my god, Phoebe's come in this far? She doesn't normally come this far. What was the use set for? That better not have been for the more the metal there. Oh, shit. If that was for the more the matter, you've made a mistake. You've made a mistake there, Plague, and people are gonna people are embarrassed for you. Cause the more the matter was a great line. I can imagine Geordie right now is sat there just shaking his head. He doesn't know what to think. Geordie absolutely doesn't know what to think right now. He's confused. Geordie's like, Taff said, the more the metal there. Which made great sense because he's he's doing metal right now. It, but then Plague made fun of it. What do I, Geordie, think? I imagine that's what Geordie's thinking right now. Right. Right, 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 right. There's another bit of metal. Jordy and stunts. Jordy doesn't know what to think right now. Jordy's looking at Chan. And he's going, "Is Jedi here? Jedi's not here." Jordy. Jordy is desperately hoping the Jedi shows up so that Jedi can tell him what to think. Because right now, Jordy's like, Mum and Dad are arguing. <laughs> and in this situation, I'm definitely Dad. Aren't we all hoping that I shows up? That's all the streams are. The streams are just a constant, constant hope the Jedi shows up. She's probably off doing something like uh, streaming herself on her secret Twitch channel. I say secret. She's got like 17,000 viewers right now. Imagine if Jedi was a secret streamer and none of us knew about it. Jedi's just been secretly uh, streaming on her side. Uh, but she likes coming into streams and, and having that anonymity again. Because she doesn't get that to experience that. She doesn't want to stream as Jedi would give it away, yeah. She probably streams as something like Sith Lord. Or or maybe maybe something like completely un, un Jedi related, like um Harry Potter Girl 69. Is there, is there, is there someone Harry Potter Girl 69? 
Don't know if that's Jedi. Oh! I was just checking to see if they were in my chat. Imagine if Jedi walked in now and saw this going on. We're doing good here. We're taking all these stones as, as trash that we can put in our trash machine. Going back to our boat. How how is chat though? Don't forget. Oh, tools, tools, tools. Oh, I'm inside it. Off. Oh, fuck off, Phoebe. A load of load more stones in there, and a load more. Right, 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 right. What are we doing? First off, potatoes and beets. I want to put three, three beets, three potatoes. Pop those in. Thought it was a big amina shot. You saw a whale. Oh, nice. You should be able to recycle these old things. Um, right, let's, uh, let's pull this up. So we're not going back to the island. And then let's actually take those out. So what I want to do, I want to put, like, I want to get some nails. Nails, 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 nails. So what I'm thinking is, if I put that, and I put a support pillar, how long does that support pillar go? So now for me to put like a floor up there, Right, okay. So this is what I'm starting to think. Is that how do these support pillars work? Because I'm thinking about removing this. Which I can't remember if... Then we have to remove it like that. We want to get the plastic.
Oh. Oh, it's another turtle. One pillar can have four floors. Yeah, but what about these support beams? Cause, cause they, these were new. These support beams. These are something they added. See the support beams go there. So how do I get a support beam that goes that way? See, now that goes there. So I can't, I can't go the other side, but, oh, I can, but I can't go there. Um, let's pop ourselves here a sec while I just work this out. So what I'm just trying to work out is with these and if i put i can't put that there but why does that say 10 percent health so if i put that there now Okay, so we're going to put, so we can put support beams going across. We may have to work this out. I think what we do first. Is we pop a load of stuff back in here. I don't think we actually need a bow and arrow on this island. gonna pick all this up while we're in the water because why not oh this is this is looking good straight away so we're gonna try and take everything here Should have bought some food. We need to go check the island. We should be okay to find some watermelons or something. Watermelons or pineapples. Although it's not looking good straight away. And there we go. There's the there's the heat stroke setting in. The dehydration. There's some pineapples up here, though, and there's a watermelon. Uh. 
So I, what I really want to do is start um, start building up the second layer and then thinking about making like some actual decent rooms and stuff on the boat. So if at the moment we use these like pillars, these are a good separator to give us an idea of where things are then going to go when we swap stuff over. So it does look like it's only that side that has stuff on. space still. So it's always worth like going a little bit out when you're underwater and just having a look at stuff from another perspective just in case there's some like hidden little bits. And normally we wouldn't bother with any of these rocks. But the change is, the fact that we've got this recycler, it seems like rock might be the best thing to put in here. It seems like rock or scrap, because we are getting a lot of scrap as well. It's just worth picking up everything at the moment. I didn't get that, did I? Silly. Silly boy. It's quite, it's such a relaxing game this as well. So we're starting to get to the point where we've got full inventory, so I'm just need those pineapples. So I think that's us going back to the boat. Watching that there's no metals that have slipped around the side. But we should now, again, have, like, a decent amount of things to get our second layer going on. Second layer is going to start to be a bit more um, focused towards the the ship sailing and stuff. Oh, we got a subscription. Hey! Oh my God. Like, the money goes to charity. It's really cool. Look who we were talking about. Jedi, you've got to, you've you've come in at the right time. Me and Plague have been arguing. It's been kicking off. We we said we needed a Jedi in here to to steer the ship a little bit. <laughs> you know what it's like. You know what it's like, Jamdi. Go work out your issues. Oh no 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 no. Where are you? Do you see the whale? The whale! Fucking hell, I was going to see the whale, Phoebe. Phoebe. 
Right, we're going to put the stones into the machine. And these giant clams. Wait, can we not put the... Oh, our machine is full. We need to make a battery. Do you only hear because you heard there was a whale and now you don't get to see it? It swam off that way, Llama. What do you think of the change in colour, Llama? It's it's a lot more pink now. It's um the colour was coming out of my hair. So Rach made me uh made me strip the colour a little bit. I like when Jedi comes in because Jedi, Jedi gets excited to see everybody. There was a whale for a second, and uh, there was also. Have you been using sulfate shampoos? No, it was just it was just coming out. Uh, I think it was just the the stuff that Rach got me to use just wasn't wasn't taken. It was just with water, <laughs> and literally, um, because I got so hot and sweaty at my mum's. It was like fucking horrible. Right, where are we going here? Should we go to the story island now, finally? What was our What was our story island? 8521. Oh, we got a long way to go. That right? It's kind of more this way. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I get hot and sweaty. Your mum's Jedi. <laughs> My mum has no. I had no fans and no air conditioning. Oh, yeah, they fucking look. You set up llama. You can't set up llama. My mum is frequently in chat. My mum actually told me off that um, that we swore too much on the stream the other day. Right. Get this metal going. Right, we're hungry. Llama, I will say, I tweeted today about playing Sea of Thieves, and you were one of the first people that I thought of for that it would be fun to play Sea of Thieves with. I don't know if it's something that you have ever played yourself. Now, I definitely thought of you over Ad. Because I feel like you would be better organized. What do we have in that spot? Don't you don't you tell my mum you'll bonk me, Jedi. For a start, choice of language, I'm a happily married man. Looks better than it did on release. Yeah, um, I was saying earlier, I have, I had my issues with it that I didn't want to play it, um, which were more due to the fact that I know people who worked on the game and I didn't want to, I didn't really want to play. What happened then? Fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't really want to play it because I didn't want to interact with a game that I knew people yeah, answer very for the ladies. Right, Jedi for a start. I know that's a lie. Not that you prefer in the ladies part. I'm not doubting your preferences.
What am I doing here? Doing roofs. So we want to do these. Don't be self mean. Yeah. Uh, ooh, shit. Look at that bad boy. Wait, is that the one we gotta go to? No, the one we gotta go to is miles away. This has got a bird boy, though. Although we might get in trouble with Llama if we kill the bird now. Might get in trouble. And can look and fly to silence. It's okay if you don't think you do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're banning me from everyone's chats. I mean, you do have all the swords as well. This is a bad bird, though. I mean, I threatened to ban you from my chat, Llama, but, like, that's threatening you with a good time, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, that's like a, that's like a good, uh, <laughs> that's like a good thing for you. Like, yes, fuck, yes. Now I've got an excuse to not turn up. To be fair... Jedi, Jedi was rivaling Llama with the amount of swords the Jedi had. That's why we had, we had a um, sword of Jedi thing in the um, in the Hunger Games. No, no, the Hunger Games. In the in the deck of cards, high low. In fact, Jedi, do you want to play high low? You only have four currently. I think Llama must be on about six or seven. Okay, let me uh, let me park up. You're on eight. I genuinely like. I hate being a mod. <laughs> I think currently. I'm modding Phoebe's, Ruby's, and Guzbo's. But genuinely, I cannot think of anything worse than being a Limmy, uh, than being a Limmy mod. Imagine having to deal with those people. Right, do you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to... Actually, gonna metal up some of these collectors. <laughs> Need nails. I'm sure we've got nails. You've only got to ban one actual dickhead. We occasionally get him in the channel. Oh! He took that! I'm actually not going to fortify that. I want to leave that as something he can bite. Fucking got that. What the the best thing is not the banning though. The best thing's not the banning. The best thing is the 
the unban request. That's the best thing. And ban requests. You you get some classics in there. The people who have absolutely literal zero self awareness. What have, have I still got one in mind? Jedi, have I still got one in mind? He already like Pip was gonna read it. Yeah, fucking unban requests are there. I don't I don't think we have one on mine. I, I tell the mods not to deal with any unbanned requests, but it's always nice to see them come in. My favorite was the one in Ruby's channel where the guy was really sexist, and then, um, so I banned him, and then uh, he was like, why? I was like... Right. We are going to go and kill the bird. Sorry, Llama. I'm sorry, Llama. Sorry to all them. Hey, look. I uh <laughs> I don't have much to say. There's no there's no way for me to defend myself here. I did consider um you do not have any unburn requests. Yeah, I usually clear them off. Better be a really bad bird. It is, he picks up rocks and drops them on your head. Beside Plague, Plague is a big bird fan. Plague was our OG bird fan in the, in the channel. But you're going to his island. Yeah, but I'm going to his island. I'm being friendly on his island. The worst bird killed out. Yeah, you killed Alk. You killed Alk. That's that's the justification. You killed one of my viewers. I can't I can't risk killing one of my viewers. We have so few, we need to we need to keep the ones we've got. <laughs> but I will look away. Right, so I think he's seen us. No, he hasn't. Has he seen us? Is he over there? Shit. Shit. So he has seen us. So ideally, Alk, what you want to do is you want to try and get high. Because he's going to circle until he sees you again. And then he's going to drop down somewhere to pick up a rock. So if we can actually get over here a bit. Absolutely missed both of those shots. Did I hit the arrow here? There's the arrow. Where's he gone again? Where's he gone? Oh, shit, there he is. So you, as soon as you see where he is, you want to run. So he's going to drop down. Now, if you can hit him mid picking up a rock, he will stop picking up the rock. So you just want to try and run straight at him and you'll run under the rock that he drops. The bird is kind of 
cleanly poorly. I'm sorry to hear that. So this is just too much of a... Missed. Missed. Shot my arrow. I was actually almost going to play Rust tonight, but there's been a lot of uh, lot of behind the scenes drama going on with Rust at the moment. Uh, someone got banned for sexist comments, which, reading from the outside, it's always one of those difficult things where I was like, "This guy's just being fucking sexist," but like I didn't want to say it because like you don't want to. You don't want to get involved with it. So much drama. Yeah, I think I think at the moment it's people who kind of want to cause drama. That's what it feels like more than anything else. Um. Yeah, the one who was like, so, so the guy basically someone messaged one of the players. So Jenny, who we know quite well from in the game. Someone messaged Jenny and was like, uh, do you consent to a raid? Which is already very awkward language to be sent into a, to a woman or a female presenting person. Um, but very weird language to use. And like, I'd seen the message um, Jenny had posted somewhere else um, before it kind of brought up in the Limmy thing. And like I felt like as soon as I saw it, I was like, if this comes up to Limmy, I think Limmy will immediately ban. Um, which he did. And he even posted to say, if you agree with this, then let me know so I can ban you too. I didn't run then. That's why I got hurt. Um, but then his mate posted later saying, oh, you've got this wrong. You don't know him. He's a good lad or something like that. And it's like, it's the worst thing to post. Did he die? I think he's gone somewhere over here. No, he died. Poor fella. The one positive of this llama is I can put the head on. So I'm now a bird. I'm now a bird. That's the one positive llama. But this is just me wearing this skin. It's even it's even worse. It's disrespectful. Oh, we're hungry. I should check the um my emote artist hasn't contacted me. Jedi, the high low game, I haven't forgotten. I just need to make sure this island is safe. And then when we get back to the raft, we'll play that. Uh, I hope everybody saw we got a Twitch payout again this month. It's fucking crazy that that's like two years of getting um Twitch payouts. Taking a lot of gossip. That's that's two years consistently of getting payouts, which which is crazy because like I streamed on and off for like, um, 
like s probably about seven or eight months before that where i would do like i i always say like july of 2020 i streamed and my average viewers were 1.5 so no matter whether there's like you know we've had a few streams where we've hit like 40 people lately which is crazy but like no matter whether it's like 40 people or four of you watching i'll always feel like blessed that you guys choose to hang out here spend a bit of your day but i i think we're about 200 quid as well off having made 10 grand for charity through these streams And that's mental as well. Nice place to be. Thank you. Yeah, I know that obviously we make... I get a few more subs than than probably cha channels of similar size. Because people, you know, like the fact that we do the, the charity thing. And I appreciate that. Like, that's why I always say, if you can only afford to sub to one channel feel free to go sub to someone else there's people like like llama llama's producing like some great content lately ad like fuck me he's he's producing some great content he's also producing some absolute shite lately i i cannot recommend ad anymore in fact if you're following ad let me just tell you he now he now does freezer content he literally opens his freezer the the man's lost it the man's lost it. I was thinking, here's someone with fresh ideas, new new ways of thinking on Twitch, new new like concepts. A trendsetter is the first man that I've seen to be to be doing the. He's the first man to see that's been doing like the crossword and stuff. Wait, seriously? Yeah, he has a fridge behind him. There's a redemption that costs two thousand points. And do you know what the worst thing is? The the redemption is called he'll show you an item from the freezer. What was he doing? He was showing the entire drawer. He was showing the entire drawer. It, it spoiled the content. Who else is doing freezer content? Do you know what, right? Sometimes I'm like, you know, like we do some daft content on here. I really like my alerts and stuff. I think my alerts are nice and unique and, you know, there's something cool about them. And I'm proud of that. And then I see other people start doing similar um, stuff to me. And I'm like, that's okay. I'm cool with that. You know, like, I take inspiration from people all the time. I'm fine if you see something on this channel and you want to copy it. You know, obviously, do your own thing on it. Don't copy it directly. But feel free to do your own thing. Do you know what you won't see anyone copying? No one will be doing freezer content. No one, no one else on fucking Twitch will be doing freezer content. Guaranteed. No one else is brave. Are you saying that ad is brave? The man is exposed. That he keeps flannels in his freezer. He keeps flannels in his freezer, guys. Do you know why? Because he has fake ears. <laughs> and he uses the flannels on his fake ears to cool them down when they get too hot. You've changed Llama. Who's 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 got who's got access to the Llama account? Is he you, Jedi? It wouldn't surprise me. Freezer content. It's the secret streaming account. Oh shit, you, you found out about the secret streaming account that we were talking about? Look, I love the fact that they've added all these fish and stuff. 
I think Jack would enjoy this game. Like, this is the kind of game I think when he gets a bit older that he could sit next to me and I could happily play. And he would watch along. A lot of dad content you got on this channel. Are you and I gonna play a text too or are you saving that to complete with your mate? I'm I'm gonna play with my mate. We we got quite um we got quite far into it. I play I play with um someone called Chloe, who I mention in the streams a lot. She's like she's like my um my stream hero. She's like my inspiration. Um she's like the she's like one of the big three people who are like the people that that started me with with feeling I could do better things with them um, with streaming. Unfortunately, she's having a lot of internet issues at the moment. She's moved over to Ireland, but I um I did get a message from her today, and I said, oh, someone had asked me about playing it takes two, and she was like, if you want to play with someone else, go play with someone else. Like it's okay. And I was like, no, we we played it together. Like, the thing is, I think as well, like, um, because I know a lot of the early setup parts, it wouldn't be as fun for Ad. Like, I think um, if it was something brand new, and like like I said, like, I, I sometimes think, like, there was a thing in, in wrestling a while back where there was a, a certain wrestler who got, um, he left WWE and he made a list of like the people that he really wanted to wrestle on the independent scene and he was lucky enough to like cross off a lot of the list of names as he was uh as he was in the independent scene and i sometimes think about doing that with with streaming and i would love to stream with that like i would i would definitely think that it would be a wind up you'll have to play with him the thing is a lot of the time I have a couple of people who I always message whenever whenever there is a two player game comes out. So um Phoebe, who we streamed with earlier this week. We always message Phoebe. Cause I absolutely love playing games with Phoebe. But if I was to have a list of like people that I really wanted to to stream with, there would be people like um like add on there and and you'd be on there as well Lama, to be honest like i was thinking like people that i'd like to stream with um that i would do like a co-op stream or something there's llama ad guzbo i'd love to do something with barma i think that would be fun but i think like i feel like barma is too big in comparison to me like i feel like it would be um it would be difficult you'd love to play kiwi so yeah kiwi is something that like i had flagged as a game to play if you want to um recommendations for games to play with someone i can recommend a lot because i played a lot of games with people like we were here forever we were here together and we were here there's a third game that's that series is great in two player um but it requires like it's very much like something will be happening on your screen and you'll have to communicate it to the other person. Um, so I played that with, with um, Ruby, who I absolutely love to bits. But Ruby is not a, a puzzle game person. And so that was a lot of fun. And also very frustrating. You should ask Barma, don't ask, don't get. Yeah, but I don't have an idea of what I would like to play with Barma yet. But like, it's the same with like with like yourself or with like... You know, like, I think it would be, like, I think me and Guzbo would be really fun to do a stream together. But I can tell you, like, I always have, like, the two-player. Um, like, I really enjoyed recently with the streams with Phoebe, like, um, getting both our webcams on there. Like, that's something I would definitely do with, with Chloe if we played, if we played that again.
I think I actually even did like a little, a few little TikToks and stuff of, um, did I? I'll have a look now. Let's, uh, let's just have a look on the old uh, YouTube page a sec. Oh God. I think, uh, I think we have some It Takes Two videos on here. Yeah, see this this is me and Chloe playing here. This this you and Ad would definitely end up doing this. Um So you have to press the button to make the jets change. So the one of you has to time the jumps while the other one is doing the jets. And I just kept letting Chloe fall into the <laughs> I just kept purposely making Chloe fall into the, the jets. <laughs> just fucking laughing at myself. That's how fucking terrible this is. Look, she she thought I was going to do it. She didn't. <laughs> but you would definitely do this with that. But yeah. Uh It Takes Two was a lot of fun with Chloe though. And that's that's the thing. If I hadn't started playing it with Chloe, I would be well up for it. Like I feel bad like saying no, but like It's like one of those games. Like I would play this with anyone. If anyone said to me, like, do you want to start a raft game? I would be well up for a raft game. But then, like, It Takes Two is one of those games that you, the first time you play it, you're going to, like, kind of, kind of, like, spoil it for yourself and you're going to know. It's like the We Were Here Forevers and stuff. They would be a great game, like, and, and not necessarily, like, you and Ad. Like, even, even like, um, you know, if there was someone else you had to stream with, they would be a great game to, like, play together. And it's good because, like, the, the thing that I really like about streaming with someone is the, um, is streaming with someone is a lot of fucking fun, but it's also the idea that you're helping promote someone else and you're helping, you're being helped that someone else is promoting you a little bit. Like I'm a big believer in like, I try and like plug the multi and try and like tell people about the other person a lot. Um... You know, because cause the thing is, I only stream with people that I really fucking like. <laughs> so I don't stream with people that I don't like. So I'm going to promote them. Because, like, like, people like Phoebe, I think. Like, Phoebe can't stream as much as me. But she's, like, a fucking amazing. And she makes me laugh so much. Someone wants to give a shout out to Phoebe. Like, I have so much fun with Phoebe. And, like, 100%, like... She has become, I met her through streaming. She's become one of my very best friends. I absolutely adore her as a person. <laughs> oh no, Cody, you still, you haven't told her that we're talking about her, have you? But like, would I be as close to Phoebe if we hadn't like played as many games together? I don't know. But like Phoebe is someone, I actually, um, there was a, a new game I saw that, well, there was a game on offer, and I bought it for myself, and I bought it for Phoebe, because it was like a fiver, and I was like, I really want to play this, but I'll get it for Phoebe, so I've got someone to play it with. <laughs> and then Phoebe sent me a thank you message, and I was like, this is just like a bribe to make you play it with me. Need to go look for a bit. No worries. But yeah, if you did want to play Kiwi, or anything, like, like I said, like, I did feel bad about, like, having to say that I can't play a game with Ad. Because then you're like, oh, maybe I won't get asked next time. Right, let's go up top. Am I hungry again? Hey, my biscuits. But yeah, I'm always up for co-streams. I, I think co-streams are a lot of fun. And like, 
as well, like, if anyone ever needs any help with streaming, like, I'm not the biggest streamer. I'm not the the best streamer. But I've helped a lot of people who are much bigger than me um, to help with things on their stream. If you ever see anything on my stream that you think, oh, this, this looks cool. I wonder how you do that. Like, feel free to drop me a message and ask. No! No! Skyrim down. But, like, that goes for anyone. Like, it doesn't bother me. Like, um, you know, obviously I prefer to help people that I know. But, like, even... I, I generally, the way that I work when I help people out is I'll do, like, a Discord call and I'll, um... I'll share screen. And I'll show you exactly how my side looks setup wise. Because I think it just helps to see like dumb things like the little um, videos that pop up when we have a, a sub or a, um, a channel redemption. It's, it's one of the things I take pride in is that, like, there's people who are now partner who have, like, who have, who I've helped to set up their stream. The tech side is what attracts me the most. I mean, even if you ever want to just see it, my biscuits. Like, because there's a lot of, like, I'm not a massive tech person. Like, if you said, what's the specs of your PC right now? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I bought a PC that... I basically took screenshots of it and sent it to a few friends and was like, is this good? Is this good? <laughs> but like, I really like doing stuff like the the little daft videos that play and stuff. Like the fart redemption is the dumbest thing. But I think it kind of sums up the stream. And it's a nice thing that when people... <laughs> when you see people who come in for the first time and they redeem it, and I'm like, that's just like... Makes it good. Oh, I'm not quite getting up here. And my biscuits, I know you like the tweet as well. Like, even though, even if you, you know, don't stream and you would like to ever play a game, feel free to always message shit me up if you would ever like to play a game if there's ever a game that you've seen that you think oh that's that looks cool like always feel free to message like i don't want people thinking that i'm just like <laughs> i'm just like only play games with streamers like we do have the rule we only play i and i i do not think this is something that i have to worry about with yourself but we do have the rule of uh, we don't play games with people who are under 18. And that's just because I'm a 40-year-old man. And I do not want the worry of anyone trying to make any kind of assumptions or... Um, <laughs> I think I'm safe. Any kind of assumptions or any kind of things said... That are not right. Forty five, there you go. Nice and easy. Tasha and stream with me before. Yeah, it's it's like fun. It's like someone messaged me the other day and said, like, oh um i d I've I've seen you play DBD before. I'd love to to like see how to play a better I'm like I'd, I'd do a stream like me showing you how to play DVD I'm actually going to throw that glass away we need to do another another movie night as well in the discord our last movie night was a lot of fun we watched um, 
that B movie. What was it called? The um What was the movie called? It wasn't B movie. It didn't watch B movie. I'm gonna have to come back to go to that house. Velocipastor, that's it. It was about a um a priest who gets bitten by a dinosaur and gets the power to uh Is it that way? Gets the power to turn into a um Velociraptor. And uses his powers to fight crime. <laughs> it was it was good though. I was right, it was here. Oh, it was good. I think I think the best thing about it was like the within like seconds there's a shot where it comes up on the screen uh CGI to be to be added later. <laughs> I'm not normally a so bad is good guy. But this was definitely that. Right, we want to put those into there. Uh, we're going to have to take those out for now. I've got a load of trash cubes, look. I think the next one we were going to do uh, Rocky Horror because I've never actually watched Rocky Horror. So the plan was to do uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Got no beats in there. We'll have to work out what, what movie we watch next, though. When did, should I just put some... Four trash cubes. And then we'll take these as well. So we're not at the point where we want to get the um, the animals yet. May as well get these. I think we're going to have the space. Yeah, I think Rocky Horror was the next one we we're going to watch. At, at some point, we were talking about watching Hamilton as well. Although, <laughs> there's kind of part of me. There's part of me that wants to watch this new Scamilton. I don't know if you've seen this. There's a there's a church in America that basically put on a performance of Hamilton. And it is f fucking awful. It keeps coming up on my TikTok. And with the, with the greatest of, like, <laughs> the greatest of... Uh, like trying to be as polite as I can. The the people in here can't sing, and they make a complete hash of it. And they've changed a lot of the lyrics to be like much more about God and anti LGBTQ. And it's like, what the fuck were you thinking? But they're being sued. Come the wrong way.
I think this I think it's the fact that they changed the message in there, which is the thing that's driven the suing more than anything else. Cause I think um as much as I don't know that much about the man personally, Lin Manuel Miranda seems like a person who's very a progressive thinker. I thought I saw a llama then. So I think trying to twist his material into being anti-LGBTQ plus not not the greatest idea of a church. slide down here I haven't seen Hamilton but he was good in house see I I love Hamilton um me and Rach saw it in America without even knowing what it was about we did a lot of like hype about it and we uh we decided we were gonna watch it uh we went there and I remember like, I'll always remember the first song starting and me being like, I feel really like I'm not going to understand what they're saying so well now. Like, it feels very like they're talking so fast and like. But I think like as a piece of art is quite, quite beautiful. I don't know why I bought that. Did I just drop a piece behind the counter? I I didn't cry the first time I've watched it, but I've cried every time since. I think it's um I think it's amazing. And especially now the the themes particularly of uh fatherhood that are in there. It gets me even more now when I watch it. But I, I mean, it's, it's historically inaccurate. <laughs> There's even a part in there where one of the songs, um, the person gives a fact and Hamilton says, that's true. And it's so not true. It's actually the, the fact that uh, they say um, Hamilton was so promiscuous that Washington's wife named their Tomcat after him. And he says that's true. It's not true. <laughs> but like the fact that they say it's true makes you just believe it. Right. So. What we what we were trying to do there was increase our reputation. Which we've done partly. This is all good. I thought we bought 20 pl Oh, we just used them to make the case. Yeah. So I'm going to take all the plastic. All the wood. It's probably true about the cat meme. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 that way. 
Did that include the first one? Don't include that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we actually only need to go one more out? Right there. Let's work this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop getting hungry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we probably want to go one more so that it's 10 and then an 11th. Right, okay. And then how many uh, the collection nets can we make? So this is going 10 across, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So then we're going to go one more there. So yeah, it's 10 on the inside. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So no, I don't want these ones. Unless we go one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I've messed up. We slightly messed up. No more wood. Right, okay. So, set off. We want to keep going towards that island that we were looking at. lot of scrap also we want to make a fishing rod as well and then what we want to start to do is make um our containers maybe maybe i should do like a uh a cody road style i think can i can i find the list Cody Rhodes list. So this this was a list he did on uh, 
on on Twitch on Twitter where it was like it was like a list of things that he wanted to happen in wrestling um that he that after he'd left that he wanted to have the opportunity to like happen so maybe i should do a list like this of like the streamers that i'd like to maybe do collaborations with like put it out there into the ocean and like see if we can make it happen That could be fun. And maybe maybe someone will see it and be like, Oh, I didn't expect to be on Taft's list. Oh shit, that's the wrong button. <laughs> and then I can be like, yeah, I, see, I secretly admired you from afar. In a non-creepy way. We have to we have to stress that. Cause there's some creeps out there. I wonder if I remove these. Can we uh make a metal axe? Have I done this right now though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we basically made our sides twelve. Because we made it. So this will be that. And then all of this will be collection nets. I think there's certain people out there though that like I'd love to do a stream with. Like there's there's certain people as well who I love to watch streaming, but I wouldn't really want to do a a, a collab stream with them. Cause I wouldn't know I wouldn't know what to do. We're gonna have to start making a kitchen as well. Where's our bottle of water? I, d I think one of my dreams would be to play some D and D with a bunch of different streamers. There's some streamers out there I think would be really fucking interesting to play like D and D with. And like I'm someone who hasn't played a lot of D and D. But like imagine playing D and D with Barmer. That instantly sounds like fun. I think there's so many creative people out there. I don't think we need these nets all the way around.
should go and have a look at the computer in a sec. Bomb is such a funny creative cube. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Like, I would watch the hell out of a stream where, like, Bomber was a DM or, or like, was just playing himself. Like, one of the things that we've concepted out a few times and I can never quite get it right is that I've got this idea for something that's almost like a little bit, if you've ever seen the dark room, it's a little bit dark roomy, it's a little bit nightmare, it's a little bit, um, and it's basically called Taff, <laughs> it was called Taff's Tunnel. And it, the concept was that um, someone's in a tunnel and there's doors in front of them that go left and right. And they can choose whether to go left or right. So it's a little bit choose your own adventure as well. But I was trying to work out ways to make it a little bit more interactive that, you know, people could play the game in a totally different way. So one of the ideas I thought of was that you would be able to, like, choose to bring an item because I think different people would choose very different items. And it would be interesting to see like what people chose. But yeah, it's, it's a tough one to talk about because I don't want to spoil it in case it happens. But it's been in my head for so long and I can't quite get it to work. See, I don't think these are going to collect it, but I think we need to have it all the way around in case the, the boat gets spun around or anything. So on these um on these computers you have um green islands are the the islands that are story related that you're going towards. Can you also put these out that way? Can't put them there. Probably needs to lay off build in a sec. Temptation to just build though. How we doing? How we doing? I mean, it's been great to see, like, some of the streamers who, through the Rust server, have found, like, an audience. You know, the two that, that I think that I've seen the most benefit from it, and, like, I didn't know either of them before the Rust server, were, were Balmer and Brat, because they both made such good content on the server. And that's why I think that one of the things that I think is a pity about some of the arguments that are happening on the rest server at the moment is that it feels very uh like it was such a good avenue for streamers like that was a big part of why i wanted to be on it
Where is he? Where is he? Fuck. The vibe has changed a little recently, but hopefully back on track. Yeah, it, I mean, and that's gonna happen. I think, I think sometimes it's difficult because, like, it, for a while it was like a streamer-only server, and I think obviously you were missing out on certain certain people being on there because they weren't streamers. Replace these outside edges with the rest of it was one of the reasons I came back to streaming. Yeah, that was that was the thing. Like I know, like that's why I did the tweet the other day. That it was like, um, there was a lot of people. I was very lucky to get in as well. I think possibly my, I got in because of my long tenure of following Limmy. I think that was the advantage for me, was that I've I've been a sub for I think 32 months now. I've, but I'm not that active in the chat. I don't really get involved. Like it's hard with the Discord, unless you're unless you're constantly like able to like keep up with part of the Discord. And there's so many channels in there. There's like different groups, isn't there? Is that that's not the island, is it? I mean, Llama, you're always like someone that I know that if I bump into. Oh, they've changed this. Like, even if you don't have your mic on, I'm going to have a decent experience. Oh, it's the cruise liner. I forgot this was what was next. My most successful uh, YouTube video is actually a YouTube video telling you how to get on top of the the cruise liner. I got quite good at mine. I think you are. Because I, I, I often feel guilty that, like, I interact with a lot of the same people. But it's because I know there's people who I can have good experiences with. Like, Dre is a little shit. But you know you're going to have a laugh. <laughs> Dre, Dre is a shit. I think there's certain parts where, like, Limmy goes a bit more, like, open to just add in whoever. And there's other times where he's, like... Like he said, that the guy who actually got chucked out, I think he said at one point about them. Um, that he let them... Because they were asking uh, for their friend to be added. And Limmy was, like, to be honest, like... You were someone who I added, even though you barely talked in my chat and stuff. But I was just in in the mood that day. <laughs> and I think that happens sometimes with him. If he's in the right mood. Oh, wait. 
I've lost my bearings. Don't die. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Lasky. I totally lost my bearings. Is it too, is it too late to crack open a beer? Could I? I've got a um, I've got a cheeky beer in the fridge. Do you know what it is? It's a um, it's a rattler. You finished Raf yesterday, so um, one of the things that we really enjoyed doing, which I'm going to show you now, because we're just about to get to this, um, but uh, so one of the th fun things with Raf for me is like I love seeing the boats in the like menu like this, and I go that looks really fucking cool. Like why can't we make something like that? And then I remember that me and my friend Pink, who hopefully we'll be playing Raf with on Sunday. So we'll be playing play, play our own little game. Um, but this is mine and Pink's previous game. And this is this is called... Uh, this was our, our game that was called Turtle Town. And we made a raft that's in the shape of a turtle. So if you look now, it should be positioned nicely. So there you go. There's our turtle raft. Look at that. Look how cool that is. So this took us absolutely ages to make. Um, but if I take you over to it, you'll see. We painted it completely green. One engine on each flipper. It's a large boy. This is, this is how fussy I go with this. We planned this. I planned this out. On... Um, on Excel. <laughs> I think there's still the tweet somewhere. Um, but yeah, you can actually control everything up from the... We, we even had the mask. It's Michelangelo, because he's got an orange mask. So he's Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles. But I think from here, you can actually turn the engines on. There's the thing. You steer from here. So you're steering full on frontally with the, with the things. And we did like a little uh, turtle pattern on the top. But this is one of the things I love about about Raft. Is that the, the story like has never been a massive thing for me. And like this entire stream tonight we've not done any story. We're just going to go and do the story now. But like making this was such a lot of fun. And look there's a little. This is mine and Pink's game. 83 days. There's our beds. Got our little area here with our with our little seating and stuff. The finished flag. Uh, our live la laugh sail. <laughs> Just above our toilet. Nice little bits of art. But yeah, like being able to do stuff like this. This is what I love about the game. And there's our llamas. I, I can't remember how to rename it. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's Lama Chan. And our other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We should have made the chicken out of that. There you go. Uh, and this this is this is one of the things that you can do in Raft. Um, absolutely. This is why I love this game. This is why I say all the time, like if anyone ever wants to play Raft, I'm not gonna save. Uh, if anyone ever wants to play Raft, I'm more than happy to have like a bunch of Raft games on the go at the same time because I love this game. I had no idea you can keep animals. Yeah, so you, um, the llamas you shear and you get wool from. The chickens you get, uh, 
uh, eggs from and the goats you get milk from. So you can basically, um, you, if you saw there, we had like little patches of wood, uh, patches of uh, grass. So you need patches of grass and then you use this, um, this net launcher. You have to take this onto the island and use that to catch stuff. You really want to go into creative mode? Yeah, so creative mode. I've never played in creative mode. But it's uh, there's such a good creative mode on it. The, the thing is, like, I don't think you really set sail with the islands on creative mode. I think you're just stuck in the one spot. But yeah, like I say, if anyone ever wants to play... See, Valheim is a game. I played a little bit of Valheim. Right. Um, what do we need to take here? Someone messaged me. Um, <laughs> Hi, Rad. Ad, we were talking about your freezer content earlier. Um, Llama was saying that you're ahead of the game. And I, I was saying that I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna be ripping off the freezer content. Which Valheim enabled more players? How how many is it? I thought you could get quite a few on there. Let's put that in there for now. A dirty fisherman had a thing. Um, what you say? I'm a pioneer. I think that was Llama's words. Taff has been gushing about. I have not been gushing about Ad all night. Please don't tell that because he's already got an ego. He was when he did this freezer content. He was like. Oh, Taff will be talking about this on his stream, saying about how great it is and stuff. No, I haven't said that once. I haven't said that once, Ad. I hate the freezer content. Do you know what I hate most about the freezer content? Do you know what I hate most about the freezer content? It's that the redemption was, I will show you a random item from the freezer. That's what the redemption was. And instead, he showed the whole fucking draw. So six redemptions and it was done. Do you know that flannel could have been dragged out? That flannel could have been dragged out for ages. <laughs> we couldn't have seen that flannel for ages. That's the flannel thing. Yeah, Ad uh, keeps flannels in his freezer. It's frozen solid. Keeps them on top of pizzas. On top of pizzas. Uh, it's because he gets hot ears. He puts them. He puts them in between his his ear and his headset. Sorry, did I really confuse you earlier with the flannel talk, Mary Biscuits? You've been lurking with the tab muted, but I only just noticed the Twitch video was muted as well. I I, th I don't think it matters so much these days, Benjo. Benjo, we were talking earlier about how how much like so if you if you don't know wrestling, this um this this was a list that the wrestler Cody Rhodes did. So when Cody Rhodes got released from WWE. He made a list of wrestlers that he really wanted to wrestle. And I was just saying, like, I think it would be a fun thing to do to make a list of streamers that I would love to do a collaboration with. And do you know what, Benjo? You'd be on the list. You'd be on the list, Benjo. Benjo. Llama. Ad. Guzbo. Barma. No, you'd be on the list. And do, do you know what? I even nearly messaged you because there was a game I saw the other day and I was like, imagine me and Benjo playing that. That, that would be some good content. I tried playing ter, 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 
Terraria, Terraria the other day. <sighs> Didn't know what I was doing, Benjo. I stopped after like 10 minutes. Did not know what I was doing. But I know that's your bag. I tell lots of people in the middle of this. I think this would be... Shit, 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 shit. The fucking... The, the guy got something. Right, I can't deal with this fucking bird head. I, I couldn't work out what was going on. And it was too... It was too difficult for me to work it out while I was streaming. Right. We need a metal spear. I'm going to put those potatoes back. I don't think we need our shovel. Can you craft freezers and flannels in this? How are you enjoying raft? I love raft. I've, um, if you've not, if you've not seen me play raft before, I've probably completed like raft about, well, I've not completed it because they added more stuff since, but we've played through the entire story, um, up till the third chapter, like four or five times. Um, like I was showing just now, I'm going to, I'm gonna show it again. Fuck it. Fuck it. You, 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 you're only just in Benjo. We'll show you. But I, I played a game before with my pal Pink. Um, I, I generally play Raft with Pink. I've wanted to play this so badly lately because they've, they've updated it and they've uh, added in a new chapter and it's the final of what goes on. So like this ship that we're going to now, I've been to this loads of times. I actually, my my most successful YouTube video is a YouTube video that's like uh, how to get on top of the Verstagen raft. Is it is that the right way? How to get to the crate on top of a Verstagen. Look, I'm third on the list. Third on the list. This is my most popular YouTube video. Watch the ads. I'll get, I'll get money for this. Save on anime's biggest library. Oh. Crunchyroll Premium's new price. Right, sign up for that. Look at that. That's, that's me. Hey, guys. Uh, if, like me, you've noticed there's a little crate on top of Vasagatan. I got a beard. That you find in the first chapter of Raft. Uh, you probably tried jumping. Stumbling there, your words right? a bit tough. Uh, falling down a bunch of times. If you go into your settings. Uh, Ooh, go to okay. Graphics, Scroll down until you get to the FPS section, and if you drop the FPS down to 30, you'll actually find this jump just becomes a lot easier for no particular reason. There you go, first time, straight up. You can actually then jump up the side on the right hand side, I find is a lot easier, and grab your crate. Um, in mine, I think we had a mushroom omelette and a bunch of other stuff. Hey, Great video. video I, get, I get comments on this video every few days, three months sort by most recent most recent 10 days ago 10 days ago two weeks ago it's the only video that i get any <laughs> any interaction with look at that look at look at that so fucking innocent that guy so innocent and look where he, look where i am now why not drop me a follow stoned out of his Twitch fucking head I, I, I don't touch drugs don't touch drugs games. and uh, hopefully we'll find some other useful things in raft in the future but yeah this this was part of the reason that I was saying as well that I wanted to play Raft. <laughs> you forgot to say I like the hair. Uh, but this the is what we did. Stardew Valley are simple enough. This is what we did on Raft. We made a raft that looks like a um a turtle. So this is like one of my favorite things about the game is that you can make fucking bizarre stuff. So we planned this all out in um Excel. And, uh, yeah, it's Michelangelo, because he's got a little orange mask. Michelangelo is is in the third best of the turtles. No, he's probably... He's probably second best. Donatello's the best. Michelangelo. Raphael. Leonardo's the worst. They're... 
There's his eyes. Look at that. Wa water. Did you not save the llama names? No, because I'll do it another time. And we'll get we'll get llamas on our own game. Donatello is absolutely the best. He's a clever one. He was a clever one. I couldn't save because like I've got it up on that cliff so that when people come in I can I can show off when I did something cool on this game. <laughs> oh wait. What's that ad? You wanna you wanna redeem what's in Taft's box of biscuits? Okay, wait there. Let me get let me get my box. Did you want? Did you want one item or the entire basket of biscuits? Do you? Do, this is this is one of the boxes. I've got several. I've got several boxes of biscuits. This is one. Let's have a look. We've got Zab Alon. They are an oat biscuit with apple. Uh, I believe they are from Hungary. This is when I had a biscuit subscription. And I would get biscuits from different countries every month. What else have we got? Pil pilota. They look like Jaffa cakes. But they're peaches. Not sure what I think of them. Not sure what I think of them. Not a biscuit. Meze. Take them out of the box of biscuits. I'll take them out. I'll take them out. Funny mushrooms. Funny mushrooms. That's original Linza Stange. Stangeri. Gabba. The funny mushrooms made you laugh? Should we crack open a funny mushroom? They're, they're fucking hilarious. We're, cra we're cracking open a funny mushroom. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> they're so cute. They're just fun guys. That's funny because, like, you said they're just fun guys, and mushrooms are f a fun guy. So, like, it, it, you know, it's almost like a joke. I'm so sorry, Taff. I'm so sorry. Got a dab. Hmm. They're actually quite nice. They, um, so see this bit. It's almost like a dog biscuit. Wait, I've got a special I've got a special bag of something here for you as well, Benjo. These are really nice actually. <laughs> got a bag of something for you, Benjo. These nuts. <laughs> oh, he loved he loved it. Got some got some uh, got some British biscuits as well. We've got baked apple and custard. Um, we've got we've got shortbread biscuits, and we got some uh, foxes half coated milk chocolate. You want a Benjo exit song? I got the Benjo song. He hasn't raided though. I can't. I can't. Um, I can't play the song. He's not raided. It's a raid song. I'm not saying like. I I'm not a Tory, and and like Ad, 
But I do have some almond dips that are uh, milk chocolate salted caramel. I've also got some um, dark chocolate coated sour cherries um, and some cookies and cream coated almonds. It's pretty Tory. I don't know. Honeycomb dips? They're, they're like basically shitty crunchies. I have a lot of snacks in this room. You're probably thinking, Taff, why are you so fat? I wonder why. I wonder, I wonder why. Right, let's get on this fucking boat. Pulsey, you can't come in and, and say that. Wait, I haven't checked my chances of the Korean barbecue today. 47% chance. Ninety-two. Okay. You're going, Benjo. Right, we're watching because there's rats in here. I heard from the captain. We're heading for one of the high rises down south. I can only hope you come to your senses and follow us. We knew the city was a failure, Ruben. Why do you always have to be so stubborn? Uh, so this is one of the new things that they added was um, these voice things. Went to a Korean barbecue a few weeks ago and I would gladly go ahead again. <laughs> Fucking hell, Plague, where do you get these emotes? We got him. Look at the, the the I'm gonna get the arrow because otherwise it won't give it to me. I am looking forward to um, getting the new emotes in, especially the the crime emote, because there's so many emote, there's so many games that we play like where I commit crimes. I'm just gonna check that she hasn't updated it. She hasn't. I think she was going on holiday. I think when you're when you're working with artists, like never rush your artists, like. You'll get better content if you lay your artist like um work. I'm looking forward as well. We're doing um we're doing a Bob Ross painting course. Um at the end of August. <laughs> it's often crime time. Hey look, sometimes crimes need to be committed. But they're nice friendly crimes. Oh, that's me talking. I was like, is someone using the toilet? I think that's what Pip thinks because he asked me for a remote two months ago and I haven't done it yet. I love being able to sell artists that I'm commissioning to take the time. Yeah, I think like, um, the thing is if you rush someone, you're not gonna get the good content. Pip's so busy though, Pip's probably forgotten completely. I noticed with the um the big Taffman mug. I've got the new big Taffman mug. I would also like to see pictures of the um the origami. Look at that! Ralph having a cup of tea. And then there's the website on the side, which was something I've not done on the other mugs. I thought that was quite cool. And then Ralph having a cup of tea on that side. Um, but I noticed there's a little bit, 
that is out on there. I don't know if you'll you can see right on the corner. Just uh just there. It's a little bit out and there's a little bit out just there as well. And I'm so annoyed with myself. So I'm probably gonna adjust these. Um but I, I think this is quite a cool little mug. We've obviously got a bunch of like taff merch. We got the 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 mug there. The Sven the Sven glass. I've still got the stickers on my desk. Um if anyone is a sub and wants stickers, you get a big taff man. You get a you suck and a you rock. And you get a uh, Ralph Love. A Ralph Dab. You get a Sven sticker. You get a hologram uh well a glitter taff and a hologram taff. Do Doms get stickers? No, they they get whatever they want. They get whatever they tell me they want. <laughs> yeah, it's like if anyone wants a sticker, if you're a sub, feel free to drop me your address and I will send you some stickers. Um but also I totally understand that people don't want to drop their address to the weird guy on the internet. that in here so i will not be offended if anyone doesn't want to doesn't want to have stickers but if you are a sub and you would like stickers you can have stickers for free Ruben, the yacht is ill prepared for this journey Olof left space for a dance floor but no space for supplies the bottles sure found their way to the bar as a military man, I thought Olaf would at the very least be... And if you're a sub and you want more stickers, like feel free to ask for more. I'm sorry, Ruben. I shouldn't have left. I can hear him. I hear a rat? I saw a large rat last night. Unnervingly large. I tried telling the crew we obviously have an infestation among the lockdown supplies. They laughed at me. I miss you, Ruben. What are you hunting? So we're we're basically looking we found this um the the way the raft works is you you get a um uh antennae and you're picking up messages the i think the the actual storyline with raft is that i think you're you're a forward scout so you've been sent by people to try and find somewhere that people can live so you uh you basically go out and you end up finding a recipe to make a uh, antennae and then when you get the antennae you use the antennae to uh Use the antennae to find... Yeah, is the world fucked? Yeah, it's basically water world. Uh, use the antennae to... Uh, to, like, find frequencies. Uh, so you get to the first place, which was a radio tower. And then when we go to the radio tower... Um, we end up getting another frequency. And then we come to this boat. This is the next place. And then when we go to this boat, we'll get another frequency, which will take us somewhere else. So we need five mechanical parts and we need something for that. So we actually have an area that we're going to get to that takes us upstairs. But I don't know. I don't know my directions. So you sail using the raft and guided by the radio waves. Yeah, so um, I'll show you back on the raft in a sec. Just gonna take some of this stuff back to the raft because we could do with some food and water as well so we're, when you, when the game starts you're literally on a a two by two raft and you're just sailing in um this trail that you can see so you're in a trail of rubbish what's on your head it's currently a bird mask 
we killed a bird. So you're following the waves on the waves? Yeah. Fucking. Um, and then you slowly start to like, you have this research table that you'll research. So you'll find an item, you'll put it in there and you'll research it. And then from that research item, you'll find a new recipe for something else. He tied his head down with root. Wow. Do we not have another one somewhere? Killed the bird for no reason. No, we killed the bird because we needed to kill the bird because otherwise he was going to attack the fuck into us. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll just, uh, I'll save a set and show you. If you start a new game... So we'll just start a completely, we'll just start a normal game. And you just literally, you start on a little tiny floating piece of, of, of raft. The shark will come and attack you. You've got to try and build up to what you do. So this is why it's like, it's one of my favorite games of like recent years. And I say all the time, anyone wants to play this, message me and I will happily play along with you. And I will happily not spoil anything. I will happily, like, just go along. So you see, we're standing literally on a two by two. And we're in a, we're in what's called the stream. We have a hook that we start with. And the shark floating beneath us. So you're literally throwing out the hook to try and grab the bits of garbage as they flow past. And then you drag it in. And that's that's where you start. And you grab stuff and you slowly bring it in. Have I played Subnautica? Yeah, I I liked Subnautica a lot. But then it got to the point where I felt like it was too... Like it was not kind of giving me enough hints as to what I needed to do. I love how beautiful this game is in its simplicity. Yeah, see like... So you can see as well like down the bottom our hook is losing... The hook isn't permanent. Every time we're throwing it out, it's using some of the hook. So we're going to get to the point where the hook is going to run out. So we need to be ready with another hook, basically. And then you'll pull stuff in and this will have a bunch of stuff. So we can make now a building hammer, which we can't make yet because we need some more rope. So we're going to pull this in. You get lucky, you throw something out and you grab a load of stuff. You can also jump in the water to get stuff, but then the shark will bite you. Uh, we can now make some rope out of the palm leaves. So you can actually go through this. There you can make ropes on the palm leaves. Uh, but we're going to make a building hammer. And then using that hammer, we can start to like increase the size of our raft. But we've run out of wood now. So you're, you're literally just trying to do stuff all the time. Uh, you want to start thinking straight away about food and water so you can make a um, a simple purifier where you can purify one cup into fresh water and use planks as fuel. You can make a grill. You can make a fishing rod um, that you can use to catch fish to get food. But you're just literally floating with nothing right now. And that's how you start the game. And I think... I think it's amazing. I think it's such a such a fun game so for from from going from that which we just showed you delete that to going into our world now where i'll show i'll show you my boat and my raft now we're back out here but um just to give you a bit of an idea of where we're at i'll show you some of the things on my raft which are, are where we've like souped it up So 
so we've um we've got furnaces here which we're using to make uh to make uh metal and stuff we got a recycling machine that we use to like recycle all trash to, into trash cubes that we can now use for trading these collectors nets as we float if anything goes under these it'll get grabbed and collected and uh, we've also these ones here you see this metal part here which this one doesn't have we've uh, armored these so the shark can't bite this anymore and the shark will only bite the outside so if you armor up the entire outside the shark won't bother you anymore have you watched Let's Gaming Out? No, I haven't. Um, what were we coming back for, though? So you get these recipes as well. So these recipes you can pin up on the board. And then you can make these using the items that you grab. Can the shark be destroyed? Yeah, you can kill the shark, but it'll come back every so often. You also have birds up in the sky. So you have two birds that just follow the raft all the time. So, like, whenever we plant something... The birds will come down and try and kill. You can re you can kill the shark and respawns after a while. The shark's name in canon is um is Bruce, but we call it Phoebe after Phoebe was often in chat. There's the shark. So he'll come around every so often. He'll attack the boat. So we're gonna go back. Oh no! I was gonna. I need to take some food and stuff with me. We'll take that. If I showed you though the the um turtle boat, you'll see how organized and stuff we had it. But you can, you can see as well, so um, up here on the top de deck that we've made, we have these antennas, which were a recipe we found, which let us also make this computer. So what we've done is we've put in a um, a reference, which we got from one of the... When we went to the radio tower, they gave us 8521. So we've made put this 8521 in, and then this has given us the location to go to. So we've used our sail... To actually go a different direction. So we can use this to push. Or we can make a paddle. Um, which we can use to, to help row a little bit. I'm going to take these. So these are our water purifiers now. So our original water purifier, we still got, actually. Um, this was our original water purifier. So you, you basically would be able to put a cup of water in. So just a small amount of water. And then you put planks underneath. And this would, you'd have to wait for this to heat. And then when it heated, it would turn into water over that side. So it would, like... It'd basically be evaporating into the thing and then falling into the cup. But now we've got these, which don't require any heat. And we can just uh, use those to, to like, um, to, to just be all right. There, because we don't need any heat. We can just put water in them constantly. I have two there, so I've always got one that I can drink, which we've forgotten to before we leave. So we always have one that we've drinking, and then the other one is there as backup. Never thought of the science of the basic purifier. There you go. Yes, it's it, there's actually they they method to it. Right, I have to remember which way we're going now. There is some stuff in the water under here as well. So when you get to islands, um, you want to be going underwater as well as going over. You can't stand out late. No, you get your water and food. I always do it. Yeah, play play gets really mad at me. Right. Um. So we're looking now for... I think we're either missing one item down here.
If one of you tells me, I'll do it. <laughs> if you don't tell me, I'll forget. Right, we've missed something. What have we missed? Oh, is this for stacking? It was, yeah. Right, I think we need to go upstairs. So what have we what have we not got here? Got bolt cutter, gas tank, mechanic, one, one, one mechanical part. The rats on the ship jump scared me so hard. Probably should it. So we're looking as well for the the blue key. One there. Have you completed this ship before? I have. So we've done right up to the end of chapter three, which is another two islands. So we were talking earlier that like part of the reason As I've suspected, the crew was doors locked from the other side. Now they're claiming rats have eaten half of our supplies in a matter of weeks. <laughs> I promised I kill myself with the bomb. If they could oh no. One of these ridiculous lurkers alive. Of course, the food shortage will need to be handled. Tonight we're discussing which staff members are most suitable for termination. Isn't um Isn't part of the point with them um, the original version of this is that one of the guys locked himself in the Locked himself in with the girls. Or am I going crazy? I don't actually know if I'm going the right way here. It's been a long time since I've done the ship. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be up here yet. Is it super muggy or dry heat? I think it's probably muggy. Need five of those. I think we're still missing something. Is there another door that I've not seen? I don't think I can jump up there. Doors locked there. I don't think we're supposed to be up here yet. I'm a bit confused though, because I'm still sure. What's that? I think I'm still missing something. Oh, is there one underwater? Is there one underwater? Oh! I feel like, I feel like I've forgotten something. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. That's what I was supposed to have done. There you go. The crew doesn't listen to orders. I'm shocked by their undisciplined nature. Somehow they believe rank go. and prestige disappeared with solid land. No, they will not be allowed to mingle among my esteemed guests. And they will certainly not be allowed further rations. They should be grateful. Yeah, so if I remember rightly, Olaf shuts himself off. Oh, we're hungry. I feel like this must be making Cody cringe. So if so, I apologize, Cody. For the noises. The cat! does that mean? You can't just fire them. We're out at sea. Hanna, you were brought to keep the engines running. I don't think Cody that ever sleeps. That's one of those damn rats. What? What are you doing to it? Get out! Do your job. What? What is he doing to the rat? I'm not sure I like the implications. He just sits on a wireless charging pad. Can you imagine? Requires one four digit code. Are you trying to tame Griffins? Um, just call him a, a good young boy. I was trying to think of a Griffin McElroy reference I could do. I couldn't think of one. Okay. I'd prefer to tame a Justin. Good, good boy. Exactly. How far in are you on Ethersy, um, Llama? I saw you mentioned you were going to chill out and listen to it. Are you up to date or are you... Um, I'm a little behind. I'm probably about uh, four or five episodes behind it right now. We're not going upstairs, suck. Okay, open the doors to the deck. That needs a key card. I am... Um, let's see. Podcasts. I was listening to... Um, my dad wrote a porno again today. Um, which I haven't listened to for a long time. Oh, I'm quite a way behind now. I'm on episode 38. Wait, the finale of Ethersy? Well, that's spoiled for me. That is a finale. I I don't know how I feel about Ethersy. I've I feel like they um they went too heavy with the world creation stuff. You're so behind on my dad wrote a porno. I'm on uh, Belinda Blinked um, going to Australia and trying to get a deal with a chef over there. <laughs> like Ethan Seaver is not my favourite. Wait, they were... I've received a transmission from a place called Caravan Town, not far from here. 
They have an active animal population. Balance obviously my favorite and then amnesty. <laughs> yeah, balance is um balance is definitely loyal soldiers. Why can I hear one? It must be above me. Balance is I I feel like a beautiful piece of fiction. And I think everyone played their part very well in balance. I think you've got so many like classic classic like pieces of 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 like D and D, like Clint Clint not having a clue what he was doing, and then coming through with healing people at the right, right times. Zone of Truth, like the the I'm um, I'm due to be playing D and D in like a couple of weekends time, and like a big inspiration for that is the way the McElroys play and I feel like I'm going to be very annoying because of that because <laughs> trying to play like the McElroys I imagine is very annoying for a DM Macro's D&D is more storytelling. Yeah, but I think mine mine is as well. I think when it comes down to it, I think I would I would rather not fight people. I would rather find a way to not fight people. Please don't play like Travis or Clint. Hey, I love Clint. I think obviously the the first season as well has got the the um Magnus rushes in. I I love Clint because Clint doesn't really know they don't roll dice or keep track of spells i mean they they roll dice travis is admitted to like fudging some of his rolls which i think is very very travis they they yeah they they're pretty uh they they're not as strict Justin is very much on the not really they fudge a lot of them. I think I think there's only a few the the um the Travis did more than anything else. God it's so dark in here. I think the story changed a fair bit though. I think Griffin very much had to adapt the story because of it. I mean that's that's my view of it anyway. I th I think Griffin adapted very well to like them. Cities in the blue, calling the cost of the project's realization borderline. Criminal yeah, it didn't it didn't feel railroady to me as well. Released. Despite vocal opposition, the floating cities. I would disagree with you there, Cody. According to former General I think it's it's a while since I've listened to it, but I'm sure there's a few moments where this puts it felt different. Our options are becoming increasingly limited. We must pull through this together or join Stockholm. Did I get the Oh, graduation was hugely like that was a Graduation also introduced far too many new characters. We were able to further corroborate his story. God, this is so dark. Graduation felt like like when I was reading the Lord of the Rings books and I was trying to I was trying to like keep up to date with which characters were which and I just got to the point where I was like, I'm not sure I can I know, I'm not sure I can keep up with this. I'm not enjoying it. I 
I think we might have actually just got the code for the safe. So I'm going to the wrong place, but we'll see now. Yeah, I think we got the code for the safe there. Did we? Did we not get the code for the safe? We got the key card. I really liked um, Justin playing as the uh, fuck. What was the the name? Fuck. What was Justin char character's game name? Um. Key card, key card, key card is the floor up. Wait, no, that wasn't that game. The Furborg. Yeah, Furborg. The the fact that he couldn't lie, which I think obviously was like such a such a cool like feature for a character, but also like must have been frustrating for Travis at times. Cause Travis had that whole thing where he was desperate to make make Justin lie and Justin was like desperate to keep up the whole thing of his character which was that his character did not lie which was one of the things that I found like was a weakness of Travis as a DM no it's not this one it's not this one uh where was the door with the key card Yeah, I I like um the amount of times that Justin will say um <laughs> whenever Justin has to like um be like, Oh, uh why don't you fill us in on uh what happened last time for the good folks at home? <laughs> Where he clearly has completely forgotten everything. Did I have I missed something here? The key card. Which one? Which one was the key card? We're getting so much meat from this. There. And then there's the green key, which is back upstairs. Anything else? Sorry, guys, I got a bit lost here. No, no, this one. Shit. Nothing in here. Thank you, rat. <laughs> the acting. They're not going to win any awards for the voice acting in this game. I think that's everything we needed for this thing. Is this the bomb that we're making now? Or did we get the key code there? Oh, we picked up the lighter. We not got everything. Bullet, 
Oh, we got the four digit code. Fuck's sake. Sorry, guys. Vestagen is a lot of going up and down. But even more if you keep going to the wrong places like I am right now. Oh, you bastard. Planning a mutiny, Captain. It is time to act. Mutiny? They're just trying to stay alive. I are you mad? I and they have chameleon tails because they're um now they're mutated. We protect ourselves from the masses. We right, we got a bomb. The lurkers to our advantage. This is very much changed. I'm sure the thing in the game is that Olaf um, originally was like Olaf had, had sectioned himself off with like a bunch of the women. Is there going to be someone up here? Balboa. Oh, and an engine blueprint. And a steering wheel blueprint. Oh, we are. We are upgrading the boat now. Potato. Drop the hammer. So I do believe this is the um this is my video. So we'll we'll try and jump up there. But we can't get up there. But we're just gonna just gonna go drop our stuff off back at the boat. That was a bit further than I expected. So I don't believe we have to I don't believe we have to research these blueprints. I think we can we can just literally chuck them in the water now. So we're just going to go back up to the top now and see if we can do as per my little video if we can get onto the top of a stagon. We'll watch a helpful little video that tells us to turn our FPS down. What a helpful video. I'll definitely be giving that video a thumbs up. <laughs> it's the one video that, that people watch on my channel. Is there a weird exploit? Yeah, so um So basically I I um I saw this crate and I was like why can you not get to this? 
So it's like it's like just right there. There's a crate, and you can't get to it. But luckily, luckily, we have we have the solution. Hey guys, uh, if like me you've noticed there's a little crate on top of Vasa. I have noticed that. I know that you find in the first chapter of Wrath. Uh, you probably tried jumping up there like I did, uh, falling down. About I did try that. If you go into your settings and go to graphics, scroll down until you get to the FPS section. And if you drop the FPS down to 30, you'll actually find this jump just becomes a lot easier for no particular reason. There you go, first time, straight up. You can actually then jump up the side on the right hand side, I find is a lot easier. And grab your crate. Um, in mine, I think we had a mushroom omelette and a bunch of others. What, what a helpful video. Let's, let's try this right now. Let's try this right now. How did you figure that out? Uh, so I um I could see the crate and I couldn't find any way of getting it. And so I um I googled it and I found like a thread on a Steam forum that was like one of the random replies was like, do this. And I was like, that's amazing, but I should make that easier for people to to know how to do so i made a little video of it and asked my pal to edit it my pal charlie Ooh. see now it won't let me jump up here let's let's try this again And there you go. Yeah, it's uh, it's really dumb. You obviously are meant to get up here because there's there's a crate, but they uh, they clearly like, for some reason, at the full graphics capability. Like if I try and get up there now. Nope. 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 Literally can get up there every time. But it's the one video on my YouTube page that gets people that gets uh, that gets watches. So yeah, we we keep it there. And this is part of the reason I wanted to play Raft because I was like, it's getting a lot of hits lately because of um, people playing Raft again. So I thought I wanted I want to play. So if someone does see that video and thinks, I'll go check out his, his Twitter, his Twitch, they'll see I'm playing Raft. I don't think we will. The only one person that we've had that's come from YouTube, we've had the whole time I've been doing like little YouTube videos and stuff and trying to, trying to do little fun things. You know, I know they're not great. I'm not the greatest editor in the world. I'm not the funniest person in the world. So they're not the best videos. The one person we got come over was because they saw a video of me getting pied for charity. And they asked if I was willing to get pied again. And then they started to make pervy comments. And then it turned out they were a pie pervert. Um, who, when I found their Twitter, every single tweet they did was in reply to someone saying they were would get pied. And... Um, yeah. Yeah, the one who was weird about it. Yeah. And then it turned out it was definitely his kink. And as we said, we don't kink shame anyone on this channel. 
you know, everyone's everyone's free to have whatever kinks they've got. No shame. No shame. But do not force your kinks on other people. Don't don't try and make people engage unwillingly with your kinks. Like, if you want to say to someone, hey, look, my kink is this. Are you willing to, you know, are you willing to do a little video of you getting pied? Oh, there's another mechanical part. Yeah, get consent. But he ended up being a bit weird about it and we banned him. And then I tweeted about it and he replied to my tweet. And so I looked at his Twitter and it was literally constantly him replying to videos of people on stream talking about being pied and stuff. And he was making uh, comments about it. And the thing is, I said to him, hey, you want to pay? I'll get pied. Pay me, pie me, baby. There's a, there's a go. Are you willing to summon a tentacle monster? Hey, look. I'll get I'll get fully tentacled up myself. Wait, I won't I won't tentacle up myself. I <laughs> just like to be clear. I won't I won't tentacle up myself. I'll I'll wear the tentacle costume. Biofuel. <gasps> I forgot that we get biofuel. It's too late. I've clipped that. Didn't send that one to add. Stick that in your freezer, add. See, big pop for me. If uh, if Ad was doing freezer content and said uh, someone redeemed freezer, picked like draw three or something, and Ad pulled out a picture of me. That he'd kept in the freezer. And he said, Hey, it's because Taffman's streams are too hot. Massive pop from me. I'd probably I'd probably go tier three for that. Is tier three the bigger one? Right. So I think pretty much. Um, so we've got now an engine. Do we need to research the biofuel? <laughs> what if you put Taff in that freezer? Imagine. Imagine if Ad went in the freezer and I was in there. That such good content. He's had to take all the flannels out. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Is there room for me alongside the flannels? Hey, Captain Moose. Can we make any more collection nets? One more. run out of uh, planks. This is good. This is good. Right. So we, we can make now an engine. Fuck. 
We're hungry as well. <coughs> so this, this, we've done exactly what I said. We finished the stream with going to the island and doing the story. But again, like, I genuinely love this game. I think it's a fantastic for 15 quid. Four metal ingots. Steering wheel. And I think we need at least two engines here. So we haven't got enough rope and we haven't got enough planks. That's okay. So we'll, what we'll probably do is we will put the steering wheel down. Somewhere like there. And then this. We're going to put next to it. So now, uh, from that island, we got another location, Balboa, 9268. So we turn this on. Oh, it says the, it says the one antenna is too close, which is fine. Put it over there. So if we put in now, we've got a new location, which is 1,990 meters away. So that is the next place that we're going to go. But we will go to that place next time. Uh, this was very fun. I love this game. Um, we're going to be back tomorrow. I think we are playing Dead by Daylight tomorrow? What did I announce? What did I do on the schedule? Rust tomorrow. We're going to play Rust tomorrow. And um, there's a Rust event going on. Um, so we're going to go check that out. Um, it is, uh, someone's doing a fringe in Rust. So we're going to go check that out, see how that is. Um, if you're not on the Discord, uh, Discord is there. Um, I'll be back. Uh, we do have the creative section. Um, we are doing our photo contest still. Um, we were talking about doing um, some uh, photography stuff. Um, so I need to talk to Cody because me and Cody have both not done anything with it as far as I know. Um, so the, the, the word we were going for, I think, was heat. Um, so I'm going to look at editing some photos this week and doing some stuff in the creative section for that. Um, and yeah, you can get pictures of uh, pets. Um, Mary Biscuits has been putting some pictures of her cats. Um, pictures of Ralph go in there. There's a section for pictures of Jack and for any baby talk. I will be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Let's run some credits while I find someone to raid. <coughs> Bless me. Yeah, and you can follow Ralph's Instagram there. Thank you, Tato, for the 100 bits. Jedi, Cody, Plague, and stuff. Uh, Hemadu for the follow. Jedi for the their sub and the wonderful ruby jean for the raid um let's have a look who's on uh da, 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 da. Balmer's playing madison which is very very different vibe to this but should we go over to Balmer anyway or should we raid let's raid someone random who's playing raft i always like to do a little random raid sometimes so uh, I'm going to go for a RAF streamer who's LGBTQIA+. Um, as usual, we don't know who they are. Wait, have they changed this so you can't... Have they changed this so you can't have... Can you only have... I did 
didn't know they'd changed this. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into this, so I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna search for it. Um, let's see if we can find someone random. Okay, this person's put their own tags on of, uh, safe space and uh, she, her, LGBTQIA+. So we're gonna go try raid over to those. Um, as usual. I don't know this person myself, um, so I cannot, um, I cannot say how their stream's gonna be. But be as polite as usual, please, please be friendly, please say hello. Uh, they look like they are a little bit further ahead in the game than me, so I'm probably gonna dip, so I don't get um, too confused. I think because they had a custom tags. Yeah, it looks like they have, um, they've messed it up a little bit. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, 8 p.m. Love you. Bye bye. Be good. And if you can't be good. Use some bloody protection. See you later. Bye.